Detroit Riffin is filming from the live internet audience. I am riffing. Mitch is riffing. What more can I say? Straight, straight riffing. Do you know how fucking desperate I am for some comfort in my life? I need that pleasure. This show is intended for mature audiences only. I've seen a lot of dicks. I don't know how much more disgusting this experience could get. Are you really not having a good time? I'm having a fantastic time. I just can't believe how disgusting you are. I kept yelling, I'm, I'm not going to whip the dick out. We talked about that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Featuring your host, Mitch Marzoni. I don't walk around going like, hey, I'm really weird. Look at me, I'm weird. As far as I'm concerned, I'm perfectly normal. It's uh, it's a litmus test for free people. Teddy I'm a hate mercenary. Yeah. All right. All right. Hate mercenary. Hate, hate, hate or fry. Hate or fry. I should put on this guy. There are two victimless crimes. All right. One, jerking off when your window's open. Two, <laughs> necrophilia. I am confessing to a large scale crime. Okay. All right. right now. Legs akimbo engaged in sexual discourse. Come on, man. What kind of guest are you? It's archive for posterity. Great internet. So, uh, it'll, uh, it'll come back to haunt you every day. It's time to riff. Oh, that is right, bitches and motherfuckers. It is October 15th, 2012, episode 83 or something like 83. that. 83! I'm your Ugh. host, Reverend Mitch, and it is time to riff the fuck Ugh. on. Uh, with me, as per usual, is uh, my co host, the difficult brown, the hater for hire, Mr. Teddy TMI Tutson. How the fuck are you, sir? Oh, man, Mitch, I'm hanging on right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm riffing on that. What happens to a dream deferred riffing? You know what I'm saying? I'm riffing on that Attica Angela Davis riffing, Mitch. Good to be alive. (laughs) Everything is bacon and puppies. Precisely. And our guest this (laughs) evening, Mr. Dale Spobot. How the fuck are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm ready to uh, riff the night away. Riff, riff, riff the night riff, away. Riffing, riffing with oh, the that's perfect. How has no one used that before yet? Riffing the night away? That's so riffing good. Riffing the night away. Riff Everybody the, riff, 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 the, at the corner Sexy of Hollywood and uh, Highland with the coronet yeah. boombox to come on out. See? Yeah. See? Wearing a suit and everything, man. That would have been fucking Damn, awful. son. We had it. Dale, we had it. I'm pretty sure you gotta like pay him by the minute and all that. Yeah, but he works Mitch, cheap. Mitch, you don't yeah. know. Just you don't know nothing. Slapping ones down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just here we go. Do you know? Do you know riffing the playing, night away or, or dollar not? For, uh, <laughs> dollar every minute that you're that's playing. So, that's so good. You just keep throwing ones at the saxophone player. Man. I just keep those tunes coming there. Here you go, Cletus. Come on, Thelonious, keep it going. Uh, my name's Jamal. Whatever there, Cold Train. Um, that reminds me of one of my favorite things from uh, the comedian's comedy documentary with Zach Galifianakis when he uh, hires just a bunch of street performers to accompany him on stage for one stop at, at one show. He just They're like walking down the street and he just sees this group of old black dudes like playing just, <laughs> just fucking jazz instruments on the street and he's like, you come with me. Come with me. <laughs> and then they just he incorporates them. They do like this crazy backup, like old school blues style singing or whatever. And he does. I can't remember what the bit is, but it was just one of the most incredible things. He literally just he just picked s- them off the street. Just snatched some old black men up off the street, and they're like, they're like, we get some residuals for this. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. like, no, here's a dollar. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but there's a script called The Hangover working its way down the pipeline. Yeah, exactly. I got yeah, pops in it for all of you, kid. It does make you wonder, do you ever find him again and be like, hey, yeah, he remember well, I he told you I'd to. make it up for you? He, he had to. I don't you know have to I be like, you guys, I'm sorry, but uh, remember that part in the sequel? We replaced it with a monkey, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, turns out monkeys it was and tubas. originally <laughs> a, a, a group of black street musicians <laughs> that had moved to Bangkok, <laughs> and they were doing drug deals across the rooftops of Thailand. <laughs> But, the uh, cartels, but uh, we figured a monkey would play better. 
You know how those test audiences. Are. I gotta People say, not, not for nothing, but I've never seen a monkey play a tuba. I would a monkey with a tuba. Mitch, I'm you are board. putting all these old black jazz musicians <laughs> out of work. Out of it is your fault. I'm sorry, because <laughs> monkey, monkey with a tuba, that shit is amazing right out the box. Right. Like, yeah. It doesn't even yeah. have to be good. That's what I'm saying. And like when it's people, just it's hold like, it and we look work. like you're trying. This is a free good. market run amok right now. Oh, yeah, this well, is, I mean, oh, this is capitalism. A monkey's trying to blow that tuba. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Damn, son. You can't yeah. fucking. Hey, look at that old black dude who survived. Did you ever <laughs> see? Like, wow, well, he's got a job. He's taking care of the monkey now. I bet he was born in a bathtub before they kept birth certificates for college. <laughs> did, did I ever show you like, like one of the one of the top fucking ten things on my bucket list of life that involves monkeys? Sabotage old black musicians. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Check that one on. <laughs> <laughs> it Shit does does. Hot air balloon Hot ride. Air balloon. <laughs> around around mean, the world, I challenge you. Like, Check that one off. Oh, I'm not. No, not at all. Uh, oh, let's see if I can enough find of them it. over yet. Yeah. Yeah. I was I'm like, what? You want more? <laughs> you need more. Oh, Negro musician blood spilled. All right. So in uh, in uh, the ghost in, of Satchmo is looking down on you, frowning right now. More more like the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, in in the Caribbean, they got uh, they got. Uh, uh, these monkeys, right? And they, uh, That's racist. they, they, they're vervet monkeys. Uh, it's a very specific thing. Um, so they're, they're vervet monkeys. And, uh, since, you know, tourists are very fond of going to, uh, to, uh, you Monkey know, the Ca Caribbean, the Caribbean, however we're saying it these days. Uh, the Caribbean, uh, a lot of the right. times, these it's monkeys, the, uh, the while the, 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 you know, tourists come yeah. in, they get shit faced, they get drunk, they pass the fuck out. And uh, oh, no. so these monkeys have started to get, um, you know, turned into a bit of alcoholics. In the Caribbean. So check it out. Here we go. Watch these monkeys. Today they satisfy their thirst by raiding local bars. See, my, I want to get drunk with these monkeys. That's no, like don't. one of my goals. No, watch this shit. I totally want to get drunk with these monkeys. Watch these guys. Dun, 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 oh dun, snap, son! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you the sun like right party. now? Hey, hey! I'm just creeping on everybody's drink. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! He's like, yo, I got your drink, bitch. <laughs> you shouldn't have left that blue moon, bitch. He's like, oh, what is this? My time. All right, I'll take that. Oh, this, he's gonna pull the booze with the baby. Yeah. She's gonna be like, yeah. Look at my baby monkey. Well, does no one know that monkeys are raiding drinks at this establishment? Do, man? Put a fucking sign up. Hold on, hold on. Luxury resort. Monkeys. They also start getting violent with each other and passing out and Some having wild monkey sex. An alcoholic cocktail. Oh yeah. Learn how to use a straw, you <laughs> Smack monkey. Smack that ass, monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> Do they just like stage the one pass out here? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> monkeys are like, thanks for your drink. Some people are teetotal. So are some monkeys. Jamal ain't having it though. <laughs> These reject alcohol in favor of soft drink. Pussy. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you keep drinking all oh, these cocktails if you want to. No, That's most Manta for me. This is where it gets good. Towards the end. Shows that a liking for alcohol is determined. Oh my God! Pull his head away. Give head me, get, let me get yeah, some of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a monkey keg stand. It is. Oh no! These now they're violent. And yo, drunk. like yo, yeah. we just go let mo we just go monkey party. Yeah. Drunk monkeys roam oh, around the resort. Hey. What you want me to pay? What you want me to pay? Just going oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> that monkey is there. <laughs> Bob, you're cut off. You're cut off, all right? No more for you. Oh, my God. Sonny's doing bootleg handstands right now. Some monkeys is falling off benches. Yo, these drunk monkeys is scrapping, Sonny's oh, looking. Oh, monkey. Oh, monkey. That's so sad. He landed, though. He landed that. Broken glass. This yeah. is like the basketball guy. Like, Let's fuck some shit up. Our taste for alcohol began. This part has gone dry. Let's for fight. Fermenting fruit. Drink, 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 fight. Yeah. Ain't no party like a monkey party. Like, he can't even stand up. He's just sitting on. Oh, the he's gone. <laughs> oh, that monkey is out cold. That one's like, oh, pistachios. Oh my god, these monkeys got no sense, son. <laughs> he's done. Oh, he's out. He's, he's out the game. <laughs> he's done, man. Wait a minute. Now, you oh, see, a now you're telling me you don't want to go to the Caribbean, Caribbean, whatever we're calling it these you days, and get all, drunk with the vermin monkeys? Get, oh, no, I want to get fucking okay, smashed thank you. with the monkeys. I, I, I know Dale's on my side. I didn't know no, they were still playing. No. Oh, those monkeys? <laughs> yeah. No, no, not those. I thought he meant like, hey, hey, we're he the want, monkeys. No, he no I'm talking about the vermin. <laughs> like, sorry, oh, shit. sorry, no. I was like, fuck yeah, I will go and drink with them. They're the monkeys. Davey, what's his name? Died like last year, right? Jones. Davey, what's his name? 
You ain't got That's no how you know you've left your mark on society. <laughs> yeah, Davey, what's his name, died last year. He was a really good, I don't know. Let's be fair. It takes a lot to leave a mark on me where I'll remember names like that. Listen, just, I'm not can we talk it. about what I kind? remember the theme song. Does that count for anything? No. Okay. I Clearly, think, I think it was "Hey, I, hey, we're you, the monkeys." If you ask it, people say, "Well, monkey, monkey you're around. around." Maybe we're too busy singing to put in a bullet down. See, you know Who more knew? Of it than I do. Who yeah. knew you were yeah. such a monkeys fan? You had a, you had, that's, that's you have, about it. You have a lovely voice. Bitch. <laughs> what a lovely voice! What a lovely, lovely voice! You and did you know more words than monkeys than I? Uh, that I right. would have fathomed you being. Or myself. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what comes <laughs> after. The man that. who introduced. I know. I do See, man. that's see, that's what I know. I'm <laughs> fucked because I know a little bit about a lot of shit, so I'll lead it off. But then yeah. if somebody else knows more than me, I just look like a fucking asshole. Right? You got a so fucking I'm, well about time to hit me. I'm ready to be looking. You're the all right, wait. Let's see. If, let's see. Let's all on three. We'll see if we. We'll see how far we can get on this. You ready? Uh-huh. I'm gonna wait till you're done drinking. All right, on three. Here we go. One, two, three. It's a story. Oh man, lady. name Brady. A lady. <laughs> lady. <laughs> lovely lady. I'm a man. Lady. 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 Do you know what? I think it does. I, start with, I think, it does, I, let let start, I think it does start with the woman. So let's start yeah. with of a lovely lady. All right. <clears throat> it's a story of a lovely lady. Who was really bringing really up really three very really lovely girls? girls. This is a bad key for All of them had hair of gold, like, like their mother. mother. Only the white people. The, the youngest one in curls. curls. Here's a story of a man, man named Brady, Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. own. Only Caucasians remain. <laughs> Uh, there were two <laughs> two hearts we all together, but they were all alone. Wait, wait, they wasn't there more about the one day there about the let this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a bunch. That this group must somehow, somehow form a family. family. You know they're kind of way we only came the Brady, Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Dale caught his stride. You could see it in his eyes as his brain <laughs> yeah. like stumbled around like, for the lyrics. It. And they found it. I like, found it, man. Found that one rock oh. as he was grappling on the side of the mountain. That was the first rock song. Are you guys going to go down? Are you just going to go to instrumentals now? Is that... <laughs> Are we doing the MC Hammer remake or what? Because then I'm in. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. The Adams. The, 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 the Adams. Too legit. The Adams. <laughs> You're just merging all of his hits together. I yeah. think he did that as well. Yeah, well I think that was in, yeah. in that song. I do, there, was a, there was a like quick drop of like, too legit. It was, I can't it was, It's been a long time since I've heard that. It's well uh, played, Dale. Well, it's too legit. I couldn't quit. I remember on the subject of the Brady Bunch. Wait, what, what was that? I remember when uh, we had Brandon Ficarra on here, you and him sang all the theme songs. You guys knew. <laughs> all the ones I didn't know. It was all like the 70s soul songs. <laughs> oh, 70s good soul songs? Good times. No, uh, good, yeah, I mean, good times. Different strokes. Uh, no, I know, know different strokes. You don't know different Takes strokes. Different strokes. Dripping strokes. What? What? Wait, what? What? Strokes what? Right? what? Wait, what are you doing? I wish, I wish people could see the body language. That's so, like, he's got, he's doing, like, the whitest different version strokes. of the running man. Like, different strokes. Turn different, different strokes, 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 strokes into a sock hop. Yeah. It's like. And I don't, I don't I know, any, I, know I what this song is. He turned it into remember. a like. I, I thought it was like the, different that strokes. Was, that was a white Sound. gospel choir yeah. from New York doing the right. same version of different strokes. That was a tabernacle choir. Okay, hold on. With you. That's Beep, what it was. Be, 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 be. The Cosby Show, no? Just me? All right. You didn't let it go on long. What about Barney <laughs> Miller? Does anybody know Barney it's Miller? Seven times Barney, 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 Barney Miller is the best one. It's what, instrumental. It's, is that but it's the, the best. Which one? It is? just starts out with this bitch and bass line. It's like, oh. boom, ba doom, ba doom. I am familiar with that. Sorry. Your fucking Cosby Show <laughs> theme song <laughs> sounds like Scat Man. Doesn't it? Mr. Crumbs? I'm the You have produced one of the greatest television shows of all time. I'm the scat man. Oh, damn you, Mitch. I was, all I wanted to say about the Brady Bunch is that I remember one time I was at an outing with some cousins, and it was like a family uh, reunion well, or something I'm, like that. I'm, I'm, I bet you I'm pretty close. No, you're not. Uh, and I remember like whatever movie we like wanted to see wasn't available. That's Shotgun. Oh, this is season six. Yeah. It's not the original. No. Shout out to my Aunt Louise. Shout out to Aunt Louise. That's ethereal. 
She loves shotgun. My great my great aunt, whenever we play this and she would come over, she would like had a replacement hip, but she would just be like, Oh, watch out now! And like get out of a chair and just like start doing that old person like can't move too fast. Gonna break something. Yeah. Uh, you so what were you, what were you, hip. Gonna, what were you gonna say about they... the Brady Bunch? Uh, this is what I'm painfully curious to know. Like you only have one memory of the Brady Bunch. I do have one really don't. vivid memory of the Brady Bunch, and it was we saw the very Brady movie that came out. Oh Jesus! Do do you recall seeing this at all? I recall. Do you recall the most famous Brady of all? I I and I saw it in the theater, do, 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 and I remember do, do, like do. as like it was like no one in the theater. You know, it was like very few people in the theater uh, outside of a, our little congregation of uh, misguided black folk, and <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember watching that movie unfold and thinking to myself. Why am like why are we here and are we why is this like what is this what the Brady Bunch? This is a cultural phenomena that has well, been <laughs> back in the day. But I remember just being like, my God, y'all had nothing to do, did you? Y'all no. had nothing, no. nothing. They had hula hoops and uh, the Brady Bunch, where they could watch people using hula hoops, which, let's be honest, is more fun than actually where, using. Where a do you fucking where do you hoop. come down on uh, Brady Bunch versus Partridge Family? Uh, I got to I got to go Brady, Brady Bunch. Bunch. Oh I'm, I'm with you on Bar Brady Bunch myself. I, although I will say I, that I the feel Partridge like this. family is more amusing to watch. I've they have seen, more shenanigans. See now this is what Mitch and I have gotten into this debate but the before. The Brady Bunch is way I felt better. like I felt like the Partridge family didn't really exist until like I mean I I knew it was like a show but like I hadn't heard about it. It was not like on Nick at Night or anything. And then somewhere yeah, in like liar. the in like the late 80s early 90s VH1 was like, "Hey, Let's pretend that was always a thing that everybody yeah. really loved. And well, then like suddenly all these people were like, oh, yeah, I'm way into the Partridge family. And it's like that was my first. See, I was like, we should we could have just left that alone. But yeah. like all of them later in life, well, some of them later well, in life also, got PR agents or something. It's also when shit fucking took uh, over started VH1. going to DVD and stuff because they were like, well, let's reintroduce the show. Not in the early 90s, no. Well, no. You, but I, I see where you you're know, going. No, no, but in the early 90s, there was the Nick at Night phenomenon. That yeah, was what yeah, happened. There you because, go. Yeah. Because I grew up with the things like the Partridge family. <laughs> Please right. tell me that's not actually a set. Well, the Nick and Knight phenomenon. It is, it is, though. Can... Go to Urban Dictionary, you'll oh, see the Nick and Knight phenomenon. It's a thing. It's a thing. 1987. Definitely a thing. Uh, but no, I, this is what I was trying to... Mitch and I have had a conversation about this before, where I was like, Nick at Night now. It's weird to see things like Fresh Prince and Full House oh, yeah. on Nick at Night now. Oh, Totally. Because it used to be that oh, Nick at Night yeah, would go so from... Like, I Love Lucy. Exactly. You would go from, like, oh, things on Nickelodeon are in color. Yeah. And then you would throw back to Bob Newhart and Dick Van Dyke. You skipped, like, and 40 Mary years Tyler of television, Moore, I feel like, right? And then the Partridge family and all of a sudden started ending up on Nick at Night and Brady Bunch and all those things. But, like, you had this weird spectrum of being like, huh, so that's what you did before color was on your television. Okay. Yeah. All right. See, I feel like they fucked with... Uh, Certainly, I don't know if they did it with the later generation after mine, but but my particular generation, people right around my age, I got fucked with a lot by TV as a kid. And so far as like, I didn't know that the Brady Bunch was twenty years old by the time I watched it. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that Gilligan's Island was twenty years old by the time. I, I remember I watched Dragnet, and there's that scene where Tom Fucking Hanks. Fucking Dragnet's true. Bro. When when Tom Hanks, Legit. I'm not talking about the TV show. I'm talking about the movie. Oh, get out of my face! Oh, that was a good movie. So when Tom Hanks is talking to Dan Aykroyd and he goes, uh, he goes, you know, I once saw Alan Hale Jr. in here and uh, or no, I think is Dan Aykroyd's mom in the film Monday uh, was like, I once saw Alan Hale Jr. in here. And Tom Hanks goes, oh, little buddy. And um, and I was like, oh, the skipper, you know what I mean? And uh, I remember them briefly discussing that they used to watch that show all the time. And I was sitting there going like, that's still on, like. Like I watched it like last night, like so it fucked with me. You know what I mean? That's they didn't, a brutal they didn't, wake up call. Yeah, they don't tell you like. By the way, this is That's what's tough, called bro. a rerun. Like you think you know you're I mean? thinking you can go and hang out with you know Gilligan, the professor, and let's face it, Ginger on the island. Yeah. And yeah. they're fucking skin and bones being eaten by the vultures. <laughs> yeah. Like, like those I, people did not make it. This is like thirty years ago. They yeah. are fucked. They're not Tom it's Hanks. Never going to happen. Away. It was it? I couldn't watch it. I did try to. I did recently try to watch the the series finale, and then I found like I, I watched the whole thing, and I was like, "What? That they don't get off the island? What?" Yeah. And then I read up, and I was like, "Oh, it just turned out that it got canceled just before they were going to make." So then they made some like hour long 
the special thing that was the, like 20 like, years yeah, later. The Globetrotters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The island. And there was, was like, the there was like a I CIA involvement or something. And they play against robots. Mm. I remember. I just remember thinking that when I saw that as an arc, I just remember I being think, very I confused. think Alex Hooper is in the chat room because his name on here is Hoop Sauce. And oh. he keeps... <laughs> He scoop, keeps, he poop keeps, scoop and scoop and poop. What up, hoop sauce? <laughs> he, he keeps like uh, one one line at a time, kind of rabble rousing Dale here. <laughs> and now I don't know anything about sports, so I'm assuming this is probably an attempt to rabble rouse you. Rabble 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 rabble. rabble. He uh, wrote, "Ask Dale who won the Pats game yesterday." Uh oh. Not the Pats. Okay. Is that supposed to be? Yeah. That's um, sport uh, rabble rousing. And then he just wrote, I "It's am, not me, I swear." I'm uh, from. <laughs> oh, that would be. Oh, then that's. That, I would oh, put my money oh, if that's the case, and it's oh, not really him. Then that's got to be Welton. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> it's got to be Welton. Oh man, yeah, I, that's I, so I, Welton. You know what? I, it's when in doubt on chat rooms like this. If if you go to yeah, the, it's what's not me, weirder I swear. is thinking about like he might be naked, rubbing himself to this. Well, who like, else but would Hooper would know that Hooper knows Hooper's Dale? Hooper's roommate, Mike and Welton, would say hoop sauce. Who watches The Watchmen? Uh, Nobody in the movie. I sucks. thought the shadow. The shadow doesn't watch the Watchmen. Uh, I did not even. I want know to watch the shadow movie. knows. That's what it is. That's yeah. Right. I didn't even want to watch that movie for fear of, of disappointment that I knew it was not going to be anywhere near as the graphic. I novel. can tell you this, having never seen it. The there is novel. there is a blue it's penis. Movie turned me off of it. Someone Dude, dragged me to the movie it. before I could do read it. it. My God, you've got to. You. It won't even be the same thing. All right. I, I mean, there's a blue penis in the movie. That's all I know. <laughs> blue penis. I remember hearing about that. Well, before it came out, they were like, oh, they're going to show us genitals. Like, first of all, this is the worst rumor mongering I've ever, I've ever seen for a film. Better fanboys, please. They're trying to get a couple of extra girls to go to the theater. Right. Because they figure, like, well, we can get a dude in to watch anything Megan Fox is in if they're like, oh, there's a nip slip. And, like, halfway through the film, guys are going to line up. So they're thinking, if we, if we promise the girls a big blue penis, I mean, Moby Dick. Don't believe like, it works the same way. Um, by the way, we still did not address the issue uh, of drunk monkeys rampaging at a uh, tropical resort. Dude, ain't no party like Look, a vervet monkey party. Those are, those that are is a party and a half. Those are classy one percenters. Okay, they ain't no fucking grubby uh, middle class ne'er do wells. No, no, no. All right, they got talking money. About the monkeys or the tourists? I'm talking about both. Well, both. <laughs> if, I was in the, if I was in the Caribbean and I saw a monkey taking my drink, I would beat the shit okay. out of it. Okay, I'd be like, monkey, this drink cost me twelve dollars. Why would you start a fucking in war where they're up in the trees they can watch you Hold sleep. on a second man you gonna why ask you me why I started the war this like monkey I'm asking Dale. Dale I'm asking Dale because he punched a damn monkey that took his drink I'm I saying did. I wouldn't go start in any wars like that that monkey invaded my shit thank you yeah they you don't know call, you gonna call Dale the aggressor they do not Dale. know man's law no. I'm there going hey monkey he's raiding you look man's beautiful. law does not you matter to drunk and vermin monkey nature but if you take my drink I will fuck you up monkey Monkey, real talk, this daiquiri this shit is going down. It's worth more than your life right now to the ecosystem. I will murder you and your whole fucking colony. Seriously. Y'all got colonies? Whatever you Seriously. got, I'm killing them. So what I... you're saying is the Mitch and Teddy take the Caribbean episode of Straight Riffin. <laughs> I will be the only one getting drunk with the monkeys. And you're going to be hiding under mosquito no, nets going like, drunk. hey, give me another drink. No, no, I'll have a drink for him. I'm just saying, drunk. like, Listen. don't take mine. I'll buy you a drink or right. get your own shit. The, you, but don't be taking my drink. The passed out. Well, to be fair, they weren't taking them out of people's hands. These are people that are already passed These out. These motherfuckers just no, passed out at the fucking... She was taking a nap. She wakes up. Right? She's like, oh, I got my daiquiri. Now it's melted to the perfect consistency. But wait, what about maybe, the monk maybe, maybe they're helping you out. Would you, doesn't it seem like a terrible idea to go to a foreign island, fall asleep with a half-filled drink, and wake up and pick up that drink and drink it? That seems like a bad idea. No, monkeys... I saw a cocktail. That shit worked out great. <laughs> That's going on the... <laughs> it's hard to argue with logic of that like, kind. I mean, me? I guess... It's my dream. <laughs> Either one oh, of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ah, that's a goddamn. Look, I won't even set my drink that down. That worked out great. On, a, on top of the urinal while I'm going to the bathroom. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen to it while it's there. Even though it's in my sight, it's not in my hand. Yeah. So I wouldn't know. If I fell asleep and I and it was a drink next to me, I woke up and the drink was gone, I'd sort of expect that. 
And yeah. if a monkey was drunk because of it, I win twice. I, all right, yeah, I you guess I feel better about that. Here's a, like, I remember See, when I started like, going I would bring to everybody social, around to my side. Social <laughs> gatherings and what have you, and my mom, like the one thing that she always drilled in from the very beginning was just, if you leave, don't you leave your fucking drink, and if you do leave, cover that shit up, and if it looks like the cover was disturbed, don't you drink it. Throw out anything and everything forever, and like, especially when I went off to college and shit, that obviously just like you double time. You're supposed to pluck a hair out and put it over the top and then put a napkin on top and then you come back and if the hair is missing it's been disturbed what if you just got real slippery hair and you know what i'm saying your shit doesn't catch the side <laughs> of the lip and it just goes <laughs> what if that's you had some soul glow for. on your hair yeah, that's yeah. what the napkin's for you a napkin do you we you come back and you're like oh the hair's with. there good thing i wanted a hairy margarita right you, you know, know what i'm like, saying so we don't got the same hair we can't uh, operate in the same kind of centrifuge you could borrow my hair i'll give you a hair you i want that. your hair in my drink dude <laughs> Not what in kind of your drink, on top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, just where my there, lips caress it. and suck. Look, I got, just I got my okay, look, I got a hair here. See, I just lay it right there, cross the top. That's your fucking drink, dude. You can do that shit, man. It's it's a hair. Nobody would I notice. I don't want Nobody your hair. Nobody would notice. Nobody and then I put a napkin over it, and then when I come back, if the hair is not well, in the elbows spot. elbows is jostling and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of faith, bro. You got a lot of faith. How much? It's one hair. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fuck up your drink. What do you got, fucking light, son? I don't. You don't know that. What if I you do know that? You okay, well like... you do. But what about these other motherfuckers out here? Well, don't let them put their hair in your drink. Okay, good. But yeah. I'm talking about my hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about your hair. If you use scented product, you're definitely not putting it on because you'll taint the taste of my fine alcohol. Right. Okay. What if you did what, the? What, what if you slipped no, the what shit? What qualifies back? as scented product? Just uh, any product any that any happens product to have a scent, a or scent. if I specifically use a scented product to give it like, extra pizzazz? You're asking a question that probably. If you had like a lavender and coconut shampoo, which sounds terrible, but I bet it's out there. Actually, it just sounds pretty awesome. And that's why your hair will never be <laughs> In on <my> the. <laughs> that's, I use take tea. your I coconut use a, shampoo, uh, tropical ass. Out of this bar, sir. I use a, I use a tea tree oil. I was going to say shampoo. you look like a tea tree, man. Yeah, I'm a tea smells tree, like, man. Uh, yeah, it smells like... Uh, Keeps the menthol, scalp healthy. This sounds the scalp. It's the health of the scalp. White hair tea tree conversation oil. right now. I, I don't use shit, man. What do I you do, Teddy? What's your what's your magic elixir? Murray? I survive, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good name for a shampoo. <laughs> I survive, I survive motherfucker, motherfucker shampoo. <laughs> And that's back off, motherfucker sound- conditioner. <laughs> but that's that's like, yeah. Oh, that's but. a corner market, though. Yeah, Because right. I feel like that's a, a, a pretty uh, Can I get a price check on I Survive, no motherfucker? Effects, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Gonna need a price Marketing check on Marketing-wise, because you want that to be like, you know, Tyrone... Bingham, you know. Yeah, you know, you're like not going to have a lot of crossover fucking... appeal with uh, <laughs> I Survive Motherfucker Shampoo. We I Survive have... Motherfucker. We're probably not going to be broadcasting on Although PBS. Although it would be great if you could get Trump to do it, too. I Survive Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 just like coming inside. God, what we just, it'd be so out. good. We had I said I'm a fucker with like the most just completely nonsensical celebrity endorsers yeah. that could possibly happen. Just like fucking Terrell Owens Donald doesn't have Trump. any hair. Like, no, so we guys gotta go like real white Brits on like Donald Trump, Vampire Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I survive, uh, motherfucker. Right? Or shampoo. Uh, who else Bono. can we get? It is not fire. Bono in this bitch. Okay, uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, you gotta uh, get Taylor Swift. You gotta get Taylor Swift, gotta bro. Taylor gotta Swift. get Taylor Joe Swift. Joe Biden. Gotta get Joe Biden, Joey B. Okay, Joey Bones. He'll just smile the whole time in the back. Maybe get the Beebs <laughs> in there. I <laughs> survived. <Yeah. laughs> All right, this be brilliant, man. Let's get on this, dude. Let's. I survive, motherfucker. Shampoo. <laughs> is it? Is the conditioner? There's got. There's got to be a white guy that pops up at the end of the commercial, like the black guy. I survive, motherfucker. <laughs> shampoo. Shampoo. <laughs> is the conditioner also called I survive, motherfucker, or has it been like watch, watch the fuck out, motherfucker? Conditioner or? It's uh, a good question. We should have you, the board back to decide. Conditioner. Profits have profits have gone watch up. Watch your ass, motherfucker. We didn't watch your ass. It's got. I feel like it's got to be more in that real like, like militant. Right, you know right, what right, I mean? I got you. Uh, 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 and we're coming for you. Shampoo. <laughs> we come, we coming for your shampoo. And we, and we in the streets conditioner. Right. Streets ain't safe. Streets uh, ain't safe. Streets ain't that safe. That still conditioner. doesn't sound like you're you're taking charge of the streets. You see, you, know, you want to do something that's like mm. I survive, motherfucker. <laughs> so the conditioner's just oh, called oh, revolution. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey. <laughs> like, you know. Revolution no, body. Called, body care. It's products. just called Attica. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, Attica, of course, part of our reparations. Now, line. Of, now of course, <laughs> I know Teddy, and he'll he'll By demand. He will demand a lotion is made as well. Well, first of all, you ain't getting the goddamn business model off the ground without a lotion fallback. Uh, okay, I knew it was coming. Okay, you gotta have a lotion. You gots to have lotion. Uh, man, damn, what you smooth call like that? a motherfucker lotion? Smooth as a motherfucker lotion would be pretty good. What lotion that? Smooth as a motherfucker. <laughs> smooth as a motherfucker. Yeah, but... but yeah, like, no, it is, but what, <laughs> what lotion is it? It's smooth, smooth as a motherfucker. God damn, how many times I gotta repeat myself? That'd okay. be so good. Yeah. Uh, Jose Chavez suggests condition to survive, motherfucker. There condition, you go. I guess. <laughs> there you go. I, I suppose that Depends could on if we want to build out on the survival theme. Yeah, well, we that's why to. I was saying. That's why I was saying because if you did it like a like like if you package shampoo and conditioner together and you did it with ellipses, it'd be like I survived, motherfucker, and the next one would be like, and I'm coming for you, there or you and and we're running the streets, or look, I'm not black enough to suggest. I'm just giving off the top of my head. Uh, it's got to have like a we shall overcome dry skin. You're talking about the lotion now. Yeah, I'm talking about the lotion. Oh, the yeah. back to the lotion. Once I get on lotion, it's over, Teddy's. <laughs> Teddy's all locked on lotion once that happens. That's uh, don't don't you belittle. I'm not belittling. I'm, belittling. I'm just I'm just pointing out exactly what happened just now. Oh, I focus on the things that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, Daily, you uh, are most, you a lotion user? This, I was just about to say this is my most in depth. Well, it. All right, that's kind of a wide question. I'm <laughs> Okay. Let me reset the I gotta, parameters. I gotta, I gotta move his mic before I engage. It's kind of a girthy question. Okay. Uh, All right. Dive are. in. Dive in. Sink well, your teeth I mean, in. I, I do use lotion on occasion. Okay. You know, okay. when uh, my palms are uh, uh, needing to. Are you a habitual or, or rough? Rec- right. Okay. Rough, okay. If you will. Habitual right. or uh, recreational uh, lotion uh, partaker? I'd, I'd, I'd have to say recreational. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Feel those arms. They uh, silky smooth. Smooth as shit. <laughs> what kind of lotion smooth is that? Smooth as a motherfucker. It's smooth, smooth as a motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Bam. I know. I I just said that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Quit asking all these fucking questions. It's smooth as a motherfucker. Teddy's got that like black guy baritone that I can never do. Like, hey, I, you know, like I sound like a fucking asshole. It took a long time for you that. You know what one. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, Teddy wants to drop it an octave. He's I mean, all fucking. I, I thought I did a bad. I thought I be, did a bad <laughs> brother impression. <laughs> like, hey, I haven't felt. No, like, that's what I'm, that's well, what I'm saying. Black guy is so good. I haven't felt this closer to Teddy since. Oh, uh, how many months ago was it that uh, somebody fucked up a shout out worse than me? Oh, Wendling. That's yeah, what it was. Richard Wendling. And you know what? This it is, is like that my, kind of. My voice for a long time was just like super high pitched, man. Hey like, guys, what's yeah, up, my brothers? Like, really, yeah, hey, exactly. That's just why real. I started running the streets and shit. And then like <laughs> someday, like midway through like uh, like towards the end of middle school, I was sat and I was answering the phone. And, you know, one of my aunts called. And she's like, hey, I'm like, hello. <laughs> and she's like, who is? And you're like, I did. She's like, who's this fucking strange man? Where she's like, where? Is, like, she's asking for my mom by her it's first name. Too. And I was like, nah, she's, it's me. Hey, what's going on, baby? Hey, what, what you trying to do up in here? <laughs> trying to get a hold of the mother. Hey, what? Hey, mom, on, baby. mom. Hey, come get the phone, woman. <laughs> Damn. That phone, bitch. <laughs> yeah, school is good. Yeah, recess is fun and yeah, shit. Yeah, additions, motherfucker. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Our new line of abacuses. Addition's a motherfucker. <laughs> Addition is a motherfucker. Would it be abacai? <laughs> I was just thinking that, yeah. yeah. Ab- 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 abacuses? 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 I kind of like abacuses. Maybe, abacuses. maybe it's abacab- you know what, abacusa. You know what I hate is the is the cop-out one. People go, oh, it's the same with it's singular or pearl. And you're like, it shouldn't be. It can't like, be. It's like, no, it's the same. No, it's two abacuses is an abacus. Two abacuses. What was the? It was one the other day that I heard where I was that like, sound "That sounds like, like a cop out." Like, like somebody's like, slur. "Oh yeah, multiple blanks are still called." Well, that's blanks. like a plural of moose. Mo- all right, but. moose. Like you can have a moose or the plural of a moose bunch of is moose. moose. Yeah, that's yeah. cheap now, man. It's a herd of moose. Mooses. Yo, Mason. but you know, in fairness, Moose-ay? in fairness to Moose-ay. the people who came up with that, I feel like they spent. They had nothing but time. Moosey. They had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what were we talking about? You're talking about time? <laughs> Y'all going down the store, get me some moose eggs. <laughs> Definitely. Mm. Yeah, because you're just, getting a bunch of moose steaks, right? Yeah, yeah, moose exactly, yeah. 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 I just, I feel like they had that debate just for like three years. Do you know, <laughs> civiliz- like civilization was small enough that they could really just write letters back and forth. Yeah, yeah. 
and be I like, still let's feel like, what do you guys think about geese? <laughs> I think they were thinking like, well, if there's a lot of moose around, it doesn't matter if there's one or a hundred because you're just going to yell, moose! Yeah. And you're going to react in the way you're going to react, whether well, it's kill them well, yeah, mo- or run the fuck that'd be, away. It would be great if it was all based on like defense responses. Right? <laughs> that would yeah, right? the case, right? Moose! Okay, so like, what do we it's say? Like, no, there's a lot of moose. And they're like, that's like what I'm some, saying. Someone's like, running. Okay, like, but there's not just one of them. There's multiple. <laughs> yeah. So well, they're all British way back then. What do we do <laughs> then? Duck! Yeah. So I don't care about a no duck, <laughs> ducks. And people are like, oh my god, a whole fucking flock oh, of ducks. Oh. That's what I wanted to be. I want to be at that convention where they like first came up with the, the all the names for different groups of animals, like a herd of or of, a gaggle of, yeah. or you know, like that. Like they just came up. They like they had to reach the a bottom murder of, the of crows, right? They at, at some yeah. point they just were just like throwing out drunken suggestions, like a murder of crows. They go, that's good. I love how we're assuming the convention status. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure people weren't that organized. How the fuck do you know, man? You had nothing but time, son. I do think that a group... I think a convention was convened, bro. I think think a group of... You ain't read that uh, damn brown novel? I think think a group of... (laughs) A group of teenage girls should be called a giggle. I like Oh, totally. Yeah. A giggle giggle of of hoes. A giggle well, teenage a teenage. Girl. Wait, what teenage? How, what age? I, teenage. Well, you got 18, 19. I, come on, don't be creepy with this hustler shit. I'm talking about teenage girls, not oh. barely legal well, girls. Oh, no. you know, the mall types. Yeah, yeah, like 16, 17, mm. 15, 14, You could come 13, up with a good name 12. for a group of hoes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, no, Hosettes? A giggle? I'm like, no, like a, you know, like a throng of hoes. A you know, throng? A throng of hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Strong is not bad. <laughs> Strong is not bad. I'm just trying to put the right move. If we're going in. by the sounds they make, which, which I did with the giggle of teenage girls, uh, I guess for a bunch of hoes, I mean, it'd have to be, It'd like, be like a scourge of hoes. You need, you need. That's what I really want, of, like a scourge yeah. of hoes. You need like some sort of onomatopoeia that's like, you know, like some kind of <laughs> a suckle of hoes. Yeah, a suckling like of hoes. That. Yeah, a suckling, yeah. a suckling, a suckling of hoes. Um, yeah, that's not bad. A suckling could work. I think. I think we're gonna have to go with that. Um, Suckling of hoses. But that also is real. Uh, that's, 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 that's a real bad setup. A next generation is going to come through linguistically and be like, what did the. Uh, like, where's ooh, the entomology ooh, what kind of a suckling of hoses? Hold on. Uh, to that end, a puckering of middle managers. That's good. Okay. That's good. I like, I that. like that. I like Puckering. That. Puckering. Puckering. You know what? I, you know what? It's, there, that's what I'm saying. Just it's like, ass I feel like we just like we do a real shitty job of coming up with new words. Do you know what I mean? Like we just like snatch words and like merge them together, or like take it from a company. Do you know what I mean? Like TiVo. Like that's what we used to call everything. Yeah. Like TiVo. And even TiVo was like, I hey, TiVo'd it. quit calling it. Like that's us. Well, so is Kleenex, man. Yeah. You know, Kleenex didn't mind that, but like TiVo was like, we don't want to be Kleenex, dude. Like, yeah. we, like don't fucking call yeah, everything yeah. us. Don't call that low Try budget cable. I like the brand, genericizing man. of corporate terms. I, We've been yeah, I know yeah, yeah. you like it. I'm just I'm saying that that's that. But like, I feel like like. In terms of words and such, man, like some of the really just baller ass words that we have to describe people, just like there was a need for words and they filled it with a really good word that still resonates. And like now we're reduced to LOL, which is just, yeah. you know, like like scallywag, yeah. man. Sure. Scallywag, oh, scallywag is, a, is, is a great is word. A great, the, the other day, I will say this the other day, I walked past a revolution of Black Panther members. Hey, 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 good. That's solid. Yeah, I'm thinking. See, and Scallywag comes uh, and from. Then, but, so but they're the, the thing ones is, that started I was the shampoo. Unfortunately, company. but I was in a group. I was, I was in a lame. <laughs> hey, try to sample. I was in a lame of white people. <laughs> mm. There you go. A That's laming? Fair. Maybe? A, Just a lame. 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 lame is a fair toy. Yeah. Um, but I noticed Scallywag comes from uh, post uh, Civil War reconstruction. When you know, like car- everyone knows, carpetbagger, right? Mm-hmm. Carpetbagger, you move from you know from the south to the north to jump in on the new political opportunities. So anyone who just like shows up in your town, being like, "Hey, what's going on?" You're like, "Get out of here, you carpetbagger!" Yeah. But scallywag was the flip side to carpetbagger, man. And then like it, when it just kind of fell off, we lost. But like I would like it would be so great to just like see a fucking historical reenactment of people just like yelling scallywag at <laughs> scallywag! someone and wait, throwing wait, wait. bottles. So if a scallywag so was the flip side, then that means that like once the political going... season started, they were like, "I'm out of here, bye bye." I think scal like I think it became a regional equivalent. So like carpetbaggers were the persons uh, who went so up north. Scallywag, were scallywag. Exactly. That's kind Ooh, of what in happened. Arizona. We used to have a term for the people that that would come over during the winter to enjoy the hotter summer or a hotter winter that we had in Arizona. Uh, and they were 
Snow bunnies? What were they called? I believe that Snow is... Bunnies. <laughs> I believe, I believe uh, rappers have since reappropriated that. Uh, oh, the, right, coming up well, with weird shit? Yeah. Yeah, there was something like that. It was like the snow something or other. The snow bunnies are coming up. I don't know what they called them, but it was, it was a... The dust bunnies. It's been so long since I've been there, but now yeah. we're bordering into somewhat ethnic slurs. Uh, <laughs> <Dust bunnies. laughs> That's if you go during the summer. Okay. I love how on where the winds are coming from. If I love how I had the reparations corporation <laughs> and the dust bunnies is what gets yeah. me into trouble yeah. with Teddy yeah. Tetzel. Yeah, because it's fucking smooth as a motherfucker incorporated. Smooth as a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, is that the is that the corporate? Oh, so you're gonna name the corporation after the lotion? I mean, well, I'm not here a, to point out coonery when it happens, but it's I mean, let's be How dare you? How dare you, I'm sir? I'm just saying, like... Shout out to Madam C.J. Walker. <laughs> just saying, like... How dare you, sir? All right, all right. Well, if you make a line of kids' swimming pools, then you can, you can <laughs> even it out at the end, where people can't... People are like, whoa, going against yeah, we'll the grain a, a little we'll bit. We'll make a line of kids' swimming pools called, uh, you're going to drown, motherfucker. Flailing like a motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> motherfucker? Don't you dare. Don't worry, you'll float. <laughs> God, uh, that, God, if that ever ended up on a fucking shelf, the end is. That should end up on a shirt. We could sell that shit. That shit is gonna Picture of stopped. a pool. Just don't it, worry. It should, we'll it, it should say kids are buoyant. Yeah. 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 Kids are buoyant would be a good. Uh, I, I I never got into the uh, I had I had one friend like in high school that had one of those backyard above ground swimming pool things. And oh was yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And I, I just remember, like, it was there like a lot of those back home. This is what the thing, the thing that where I, where I felt like, you know, when somebody does that, they just like you're just, you're just going like, why are you bothering? You know what I mean? But then I felt bad because it was like I was hanging out with this person while my uh, mom and stepdad were actually having a real pool put into our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kind of like, she's like, yeah, I'll hang out with you for now. Like asshole. I could make fun of her pool if I didn't have one, but like on account of I was in the middle of getting one, it's like I can't be that dickhead that's like. Wouldn't call that a pool exactly. Yeah. I'm, I could show you. I could show you what a hey, pool when, looks when's like. What's that new you know, pool getting here? The above here. ground yeah, pools yeah. were great for those whirlpools. You get like six or seven people in there, and you just start running around the edge in the <laughs> same direction. I swear to God, dude. You could. You it's could about also the only thing that they're good for. <laughs> <laughs> you could also do that in the shallow end. <laughs> you just start running and running and running and shit, and you just get a nice little whirlpool going there. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of above ground pools in your neighborhood? In uh, uh, where are you from? I'm from Boston, just oh, outside okay. of Boston. Thus so the yeah, Pats there were a lot of taunting. there were a lot of. Uh, hmm? That's the Patriots talking yeah. earlier. Yeah. There were a lot of above ground. Are they from Boston? I mean, there were in ground pools. Yes. There so were why don't they call them the Boston Patriots? They used to, but now they're not in Boston. They're in Foxborough. Fox, what's Fox? Now they Foxborough belong, is a town. Now they belong to south, all of New England. South of Boston. Oh, so New England is just comprising in Boston these days, or what? Yes. Well, okay. New England consists of you still Rhode, got the Red Rhode Sox, Island, though, right? Massachusetts, Vermont. You still New got the Hampshire, Red Sox, Maine, right? Boston's the Red Sox? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you still got that Bambino Boston Red curse? Sox, Boston Celtics. No, that's been broken. No, broken. Poppy. All right. Well, Took it out. glad to hear that happened. And right. that, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, is Mitch learning sports <laughs> in 2006. Mitch on sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened in 06. 04. 04, okay. excuse well, me. 04. We won another one in 06. I, uh, I, uh, as Teddy will tell you, I, 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 after 1990, I don't know anything sports. Before okay. 1990, bring it on. I, I, got, I got your sports trivia. Was that, when that? You, was that when you got the kid with the football and the crotch and the cleat? I, no. I watched your show. I heard, I heard a couple uh, stories before. Of a of a crotch with a cleat. Of when you you were uh, you were younger and you don't do sports anymore because uh, there's so many sports dramas. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of sports dramas. I, I didn't get a cleat you're doing to my cross crotch. country. No, you kicked some kid in the junk because he was on top of you. You're hugging you or something. No, that oh, was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, that was me. That was yeah, me. Yeah. But that was me kicking. But I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't have cleats saying. or anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just. Saying, yeah. I like how there's another. I don't know where you would have heard that. Actually, I'm kind of thinking like, when have I told that on stage? I tell on your show. Did I on your show? Huh. Yeah. That makes sense. I guess oh, I'm, I will. A, I'm a riffing fan. I, I guess so. This guy. Remember shit like that. My God. So you know how to play Google Feud? Okay. He may have well, missed. Well, miss. well, we'll, have to, we'll have to play that we'll with you to, anyway we'll at the, 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 the end the there. It's okay. All right. But yeah, yeah. So, so I, 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 but I didn't really follow football that well, I'll, I'll be honest. But I knew a little, but I didn't know that. Uh, 
that the Patriots were were basically a Boston thing. representing yeah. an entire. Yeah. I thought it was now. just like I thought it was just like look, we don't know where to stick this team. We'll call them New England. New England and they'll just go wherever they go. Yeah, the thirteen colonies Patriots. That's yeah. very yeah, exactly. bizarre. Well, uh, it's confusing because I mean, you know, the last I remember in. I want to say like 89 or something like that. I used to have a Sports Illustrator for kids. You know, I used to, uh-huh. I was big on that. And I remember one of the, it was one summer they had this big competition. It was like design the name and logo for a sports team, like a baseball team, I think it was. Because they were going to open up like 10 new baseball teams. And they were like, we're going to need names. Yeah. And I just remember, I was like, oh, that would be the coolest thing ever. And I never, like, I didn't, you know. Uh, but I feel like, a few of them did get picked to be baseball teams, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but you know, it's hmm. it's funny to look at like the sports landscape between football and baseball and basketball to some degree. And there's all these names, and I'm just like, and I keep thinking like, do I just keep going to kids for these? Like the Raptors, really? That's, yeah, that sounds like like the twelve twelve year old yeah. me would have been like, dude, the like, Raptors, I you feel motherfuckers. Like that's a popular uh, way to pick team names in a city. Ask the kids is to ask children. It's great PR. Okay. You know, right. you're going to get something that as kids grow up and stay in the city, they're like, I'll fucking name that shit. You know, so you you're got a lifelong get, fan base. You're going to get some real auto but then, it, then it makes it even worse because it's <laughs> yeah. like, what fucking, what fucking angry kid from Mississippi or whatever have you was like, calling the Redskins. I'm like, what? Jesus <laughs> fucking. I you know. Or the engines, whatever. Uh, that'd be Washington, D.C. Well, I'm actually. just saying. I, I'm just. I love that our nation's capital team's called the Redskins. Dude, it's I was the best. just, I was just, just the best. watching. I'm not. Uh, I didn't. I didn't mean that they were in Mississippi. I'm just saying, like as a as an no, example, exactly. no, you it's should so, call it that. It but, is. Yeah. It is. I don't think it's irony at all. So much <laughs> as it's just horrifyingly, horrifyingly depressing. No, totally. Uh, but I was just watching uh, football uh, yesterday, I guess, and uh, I was with my lady. And we happen to see the end of the Redskins Vikings game that they <laughs> cut to, and they just and and she it's had like the first Euro American War, right? And she <laughs> <laughs> she is like just kind of and over the last uh, year and a half or so gotten into sort of understanding football and like sort of appreciating it a bit okay. more, you know, and and uh, so like. I call it lying to you. No, 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 no. Hey, settle down. Appreciating it. Uh, Putting up with it. As we are on this second tour now, uh, now she's like, now things like more uh, bigger sort of abstract concepts kind of uh, settle in more and make a little bit more sense. You know, some strategy things are popping up, but like... (laughs) She's also she's sort reading of the blitz. And yeah, down. exactly. She knows checkdowns. Does she yeah. still wonder like I do? What in the fuck is a knickerbocker? A knickerbocker? What's it's a, a pair of pants made well, famous well, by the think... knickerbocker tales by? Ooh, look at this Shit, guy. Go. I can't remember. It's an old British book, but it was about this little wacky dude. I mean, I know the British. And uh, his name was Knickerbocker, and he wore short pants, and oh, that's why okay. knickerbockers. The term came in was because it was from the knickerbocker tales, but then they started wearing all right knickers. Boom. Kudos, Dale. Kudos. Bring it out the history. That's, uh, that's, uh, that, well, I do know the now, British. if anybody else knows the more British about will, knickerbockers, I'm fucked. <laughs> the, br- the British will talk about their pants, and they'll say, like, put your knickers on, or whatever. It's like one of those words you can only say in a British accent, otherwise somebody goes, excuse me? Yeah, yeah right. You, put yeah. your what's on? Like, no, no. have been through it already. No, sir, excuse me. I meant my pants, you know? Um, I believe you call them pantaloonies. But that's, it's the same thing, like, if you don't know anything, like, if you don't really know sports or football, and you're just, like, first getting into it, you hear all the you're trying to figure out a lot of shit, right? And then, like you finally kind of start to figure out, okay, like I know what's happening when I look at the game. Now I'm starting to figure out all the other fringe things. And then, I, I'm you know when you talk about yeah, there's this one team named the Redskins, and the mascot is this American Indian. And they're like, well, that sounds terrible. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. At least Atlanta's got the Braves, right? And then you're like, and that's yeah, a nice thing to call them. It's you know? it's the team that's located in the nation's capital of you know it's the most popular sport in the country. And then she saw <laughs> it's just an homage to genocide, right? She saw the logo for the first time, just large on the Fox screen, and she just goes, "Oh shit, that is awful." <laughs> she was like, "That is awful," and I was like, "Yep." And then you just keep seeing, like, at that moment, just like six like mini Redskin logos just yeah. popping up, and she's like. Oh my God! How long have they existed? I was like, too long. Wow. Too long. Yeah. I love the Redskins. I, I I love little pieces of like political incorrectness that live on. Again. 
uh, some, on, some of the to make up some for, of like, the teams make sense. Goes. Like tech, uh, the uh, the Dallas Cowboys, that makes sense. I'm with it. I never understood why the Cardinals moved to Arizona, where there are no Cardinals. Um, well, Card- they used the Cardinals are a, f- a football team, though. Are I know. We're talking football now. Yeah, yeah. they got birds. They got birds. They don't have any Cardinals. They used oh, to we were be. talking St. about St. Louis before. St. Louis, Louis, right? St. Louis used to Duh. be well. The, the yeah, Cardinals, the Cardinals used to be. St. Yeah, yeah. Louis, no, and they, they moved to Arizona. Was, they should have called them something else. For some reason, no. I switched to baseball. Yeah. We were talking now. Football, wait, the the, the 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 college football team in Arizona is the Sun Devils, which makes sense. The Arizona yeah. State Sun Devils. Yeah, Arizona is the Wildcats. Wildcats. Okay. Look, I don't. I learned that from speed. I don't care enough. From doing speed no one knows if it's the movie or the drug right now. We've blurred the line successfully. Can it this. be both? <laughs> there is a lot of meth and AZ. Oh my god, this movie's really fast! <laughs> Dude, you gotta get off the fucking bus. That's all I'm saying, man. But you don't wanna like drop before 50 miles an hour. You could probably ramp that bridge, though. I bet you if you ramp that bridge, you could probably fucking make it. Oh my god, totally. That'd be so fucking amazing. By the way, when you're done ramping that bridge, you just totally fuck that Sandra Bullock chick. She was hot. My head is exploding. I don't care if relationships based on extreme circumstances don't really work. I, all the possibilities of you, like, high on speed, watching speed, just getting faster. <laughs> all the scenarios as are the bad. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> all, all scenarios are bad. And it's a marathon. It goes right into oh, speed two with fuck. Willem Dafoe. And you're like, oh, my God. You're like, oh, my God. His heart rate is fucking out of control, man. And this is what he feels like. Oh, fuck, man. How can he drive that bus? Oh, fuck. He can't defuse a bomb. Was there a bus in speed two as well? No, no was, that's speed two. Cruise, cruise control. It was a cruise ship. Yeah, man. Cruise control. I do say, <laughs> my <laughs> Sandra Bullock came back for that, and uh, that of course was, she did. She's they not didn't doing want anything. Keanu Reeves. They went with uh, uh, I don't who, really, who uh, was it? It was uh, um, some random white dude. No, what was his name? Patrick. Uh, hey, Sandra Bullock is the uh, female Jason Nicholas Cage. Am no, I right? Not Jason Patrick. Uh, no, nowhere near. Is, no uh, way, dude. Nowhere She'll take, near is, when does she turn down a role? No, because it's not what, what role she takes. Nicolas Cage is doing some, like, some, he just does the most weird, just <laughs> he like, he does some crazy He does, like, shit. Wink Nod B-movie Wicker shit. Man. Like, Wicker Man is Wicker still Man. one of the greatest. If we could, I don't the know if it's possible. comedy trailer for Can we Wicker maybe Man pull the up the thing. scene of him punching the woman in the face <laughs> in the Wicker Man while he's wearing oh, a totally. full body bear costume? Totally. That's one of the greatest things. Have you ever seen this? It's one of the greatest things the world has ever. Been. I don't make it. A, I'm, you, I don't make it a habit to watch. Have you seen that Nick comedy, movies, you're comedy trailer for The Wicker Man? I don't know. If Someone I've seen cut that. together on YouTube. It's That's like it so works so much better as a it's comedy. It's so funny. And it's like I, have, I, I typed in Wicker. I, I typed in Wicker Man bear suit punch. And perfect. Oh, you're so totally, I'm hoping, totally I'm hoping right this will be the right Jimmy thing. Jimmy won't bring back your goddamn it's so, honey. It's so, <laughs> it's so good. And if, oh, my all right, God. All right. All right. Oh, all right. Call man. yourself down. Here we go. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. Bitch, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> this ruins absolutely nothing about the movie, by no, the way. No. I feel bad for everybody at home that's not watching this right along literally... No way. Riff off All right, we got a girl with a bear. Go on YouTube. Oh, 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 wait, <laughs> Nicholas Cage is wearing a bear right now. His face is visible through oh the bear's God. mouth. There's a woman blowing a horn. And, and a now child. Nicholas Cage is woman like... Tied to a, a wait little a girl minute. tied to a... As bitches painted like Braveheart <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, here it comes. Yeah, why is Braveheart in here? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you blowing that horn for, bitch? <laughs> Don't you know? I'm a bear. <laughs> That's not how bears <laughs> walk. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, he decked that bitch, son. He decked that bitch, son. Yo, fucking that's not right all how bears move. Right no, cross the bottom of Listen, listen. If I, if, first of all, this is how you I know these motherfuckers don't know nothing, son. If I was in a spot, okay? And a fucking bear was just running at me, running, bipedal running, right? Just two legs just going. <laughs> I think it's bipedal. Yeah, bipedal. bipedal excuse running. me, excuse me, bipedal. Well, ask how Jay said uh, it, but all right, go ahead. Uh, I think it's bipedal, you're right. Uh, but, dude, like, I'm murdering that bear before it gets to oh, me, yeah. dude. There's no way. I'm going to take that horn. I'm gonna Especially if it gets closer to me and it doesn't drop down. Yeah. And it just, like, cocks <laughs> its fist back. And I look at it and it's got Nicolas Cage's face. <laughs> I would hit that bear, <laughs> you know. I'd be like, "Bear!" Oh, it's Nicholas Cage. Oh, Smack. Listen, everyone, do yourself a favor and get really high one night or drunk, uh, whatever substance of choice. No meth, uh, and watch The Wicker Man. 
uh, oh, totally. Nicolas Cage tour de force performance of weird. That's the thing. Sandra Bullock has not done just like a bunch of weird, shitty BC Vanette. movies. Are no, that was sure? like way that back before. Way back then, back though. Then, that was a like cutting edge, man. If you look at it now, though. Miss Congeniality. Miss Congeniality. And two. Now, and part she, two. And then she did The Blind Side. She got what? an Oscar. But the thing is, Nicholas Cage Congeniality is broke movies, selling castles. Ni- Nicholas Cage did Adaptation. Huge. Didn't he? Did I haven't seen them, but those movies were yeah. fucking like big. And they're still People on know. TNT right now. Whereas Nicholas Cage became There's a There's a Broadway musical about that shit? Yeah. He be- he became like this sort of this right. like unserious cult actor. I guess I'll have to save my hate for Sandra Bullock for another Might day. Listen, I don't like Sandra Bullock either. Okay. But what I am saying about. is that she's no Nicolas Cage. That's not the best comparison. No, he's no, he's way better. Uh, I will try and think. <laughs> No, I like Sandra Bullock. She's not that big. I can't say that I've ever watched a Sandra Bullock movie and ignored her long enough to enjoy the film, but I have done that with Nicolas Cage. Although, I've actually liked him when he's good. Like, Adaptation, good goddamn movie. Raising yeah. Arizona, good goddamn movie. That's the movie. thing. When Nicolas Cage gets the right weird script and he's not just, like, sauced out of his mind, he could be phenomenal. Yeah. But then... But he like, but he also just needs to do anything and everything because he's Ghost so Rider. broke. Awesome. Because when he's been buying fucking castles and shit, son. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I watched Ghost Who Rider. <laughs> when I watched Ghost I'd Rider, I bought one, and then I, was, I would live in it. I was so fucking oh, excited. Oh how dare Jose Chavez or just uh, oh compared uh, compared uh, Sandra Bullock to Christopher Walken? Just just not fair. What? That's what? Just, Get off know. the internet. Jose. I don't know. <laughs> Get off. Get on uh, your Netflix instead. Yeah, what are you talking Watch about? Watch some Christopher Walken. That man's phenomenal. He was the uh, only thing I liked about Seven Psychopaths that I watched yesterday. Oh, how was the whole, you? you uh, yeah, it you was, said very it was, right. it was like, look, go see it. You know, I'm not gonna say don't go see it. They're it's not, try, a, it's they're not definitely a bad selling film. it on the cast, though. Yeah, it's not a bad film. Uh, obviously, they're going for that true romance crowd. If you like true romance, if you loved, if you loved true romance, which I did, then you will probably enjoy certain parts of Seven Psychopaths. That's what I can say. Uh, also, I will say this. Christopher Walken is doing his very best Christopher Walken impression, and yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. Every time he's on screen, you're just like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm here. I'm right, you and me. Uh, the, uh, the part in the trailer where the guy's like, you know, put your hands up, and he goes, no. And he goes, but I have a gun. And he's like, too bad. Yeah. Like, it's that fucking moment I was like on the floor. That's great. Uh, it was, it was, it's... He's phenomenal, but he he basically plays himself in the film, which is what makes it so great. Like he's, which is what makes Nicolas Cage's bad movies so (laughs) great because he's essentially Nicolas Cage, poor, looking for a cheap, easy payday to afford, like to stay out of bankruptcy. Which is like you mentioned, Ghost Rider. Like I was so excited when I saw Ghost Rider finally because (laughs) I remember like saw the the fucking trailers and all I could imagine was like the real filming on set of Nicolas Cage just like being a crazy person. And there's a scene where he actually transforms into the Ghost Rider for the first time, <laughs> yeah, dude, just and he's just he's in he's in it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's in an, he's in an auto garage, right? He's in his fucking black leather, and all of a sudden his face starts melting off to reveal the skull that the Ghost Rider is famous for. But you know, so there's the CGI happening in the finished product, and all I can think about when I was seeing it is just anyone who was on set watching it happen in real life dying they just saw a real life Nicolas Cage just scratching and clawing at his face going oh oh I like this like half stepping like Frankenstein and I'm and they just, probably did like 50 takes <laughs> <laughs> you know we're gonna need more we're gonna need more Give me more teeth, Nick. He's got, yeah, he has to walk a teeth. long we way. We line up the jaws. I need you to really rip your eyelids like they are coming off of your flesh. He's like, all right, I can do that for you. And it's, I would like, I would kill okay, so, so much to gonna, see that fucking that. raw footage, man. Oh, totally. I would, I would kill to see Nicholas Cage psych himself up. That should be the bonus material. Up. Just I was, that. I really, I have Ghost Rider on DVD. Very disappointed. That's not in the bonus footage. Very disappointed. I was gotten it as a gift solely because we hoped that that footage would be on there. <laughs> Do you ever, uh, do you ever, do you ever watch uh, the uh, or listen to the the commentary on uh, Total Recall? No. I've yes, never... I have. But That's... Not in a long time. It's it's with phenomenal. Paul Verhoeven and shit. I- I'm oh, specifically awesome. talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Oh god. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> it's he he literally just tells you, um, he just tells you what's going on in the movie. <laughs> Like, like yeah, as if, know, like as if you're not actually watching it. If you listen to just uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's commentary and didn't watch the movie, you'd probably be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I got this." 
Uh, yeah, so, yeah. He, so he did it like an audio book. <laughs> this is totally it was, called by this, Paul Verhoeven. Is that how they got the idea hold for on, Cliff hold Notes? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So it's like, someone's like, you know, on the screen here, right? Yeah, okay, so on. this is Hamlet, and he is <laughs> he is upset. I love how you pulled out a reference to a <laughs> this movie is, within this is the it. movie. This is it. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. If you listen to him, he's just like talking about the movie. Where does this is me, Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> and this is me on the screen here, writing towards the camera. Uh, that's annoying. See some extraordinary mutants. She was a cutie. Uh, what? This the is obnoxious. Fuck Sorry, is hold on. That? Let me find one that doesn't have the fucking stupid shit in the middle. Okay, so this is some, somebody cut this together. This isn't like yeah. what's on the DVD. No, 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 no. no. Exactly. no it, it is. It's, it's like wait, nothing it but 16-bit audio <laughs> blasting like, in between. <laughs> That's it. It truly is from the DVD. I have the DVD, so I mean, I could, I, I could. Um, I'm just trying to find the one that's like. Doesn't have the dumb shit in the middle. Uh, I hate the dumb shit in the middle. Thank you know how people on the internet be fucking up their chance to use technology appropriately? <laughs> yeah. Let me see if this is. I'm just. I'm worried because this one's on Funny or Die, and I'm I like, this that probably isn't the, r the real one. It's solid. But it might be. Let's find out here. God, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That dude has a career that is completely he's disproportionate. He's coming back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's he's doing movies again. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Exactly. Yeah. So that they because cannot, they don't know. So they cannot detect of where I am. I run around like an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> I run around like a redskin. This scene is unbelievable because my frustration about this taxi cab does not understand where I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> he realizes that there's a hologram of him. And now he's telling him that, that he has to take that bug out of his nose, which is this gross scene. Remember, everyone was right. gross, it grows out. I love his scene analysis. My, my, uh, Dude, nose. I would pay money to see Arnold Schwarzenegger break down like Schindler's it's List or something. <laughs> yeah. And this, is where it's, this is where it's in black and white because it's sad. <laughs> it's a sad movie. He's standing on the balcony and he's just shooting people really nearly in line. They haven't even done anything. Okay, so uh, Argentina does not support <laughs> yeah. the cry. For Argentina <laughs> does not support that cry for hell. <laughs> when they tell him, well, then you're not really here. Here's the great moment of the sweat running down, which gives it away. Watch this. <laughs> sweat running down, and that gives it away that he is afraid. And it is not real. Here it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the, I love that line when I say here, consider it a divorce. divorce yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's the funny. Big, the, hand, the hand. Here the mall is coming. That was a great shot then the end when yes. they show me yeah, and him together. together there, exactly, yeah. yeah. And that's both the war uh, together rose. watching it. Now so there you go. You get, you get the basic. And this guy is getting new budgets that are, what, like fucking $70 million to make movies? Still, <laughs> son. After throwing California into the fucking abyss. Like, he comes off as such... A simpleton in that, like he's like, oh yeah, this is where I, yeah, look, look at me, I'm smiling because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have, see, I have well, a smile on my listen. face. It's not a big smile because it's not hilarious. If it uh, was, I'd be laughing out loud or hello, anything. Who? Yeah, I'm only grinning. Like yeah. Oh, here's uh, here's the part where it's a very subtle thing. Few actors can do it. It's <laughs> called grinning. Like, <laughs> this might be my favorite part. Is he explains how the uh, he explains how he how he. Uh, uh, Outsmarts <laughs> the cops. Hold on. I, I slap uh, on the brakes. What does this mean? Okay, it's one. They go driving by me very fast and I throw it in reverse. Now, this is not really a man with another man coming out of his belly. <laughs> he's what's called makeup. Okay, here we go. The, the crazy uh, thing is, there are no planets with uh, human the, life on them. The chocolate. Gave it to the rat, and the rat is now running around with the device. But they don't know. They think that I'm right there. They're, they're on my track. This is a wonderful scene. Uh, where I, uh, <laughs> this is a wonderful scene. Can't even believe. Lady. Like nobody sat him down and goes, uh, Arnie, uh, listen. <laughs> this is a wonderful scene. This <laughs> is dressed up like a lady. The idea of commentary is for you not to just talk about what is on the screen no, that they listen. can already see. But they is... need to know like what your insight as the actor. Like that's oh, it. it. Really well, difficult. Difficult. Yeah, that's difficult. what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I can tell them that that was not really me. It was another actor. It's called a stand-in. Here's the thing. Later on, I came out of her head, though. You can't like, give him the benefit of the doubt because as governor of <laughs> California, this He's is lost my, all credibility. This is my favorite thing that Arnold Schwarzenegger ever did as governor of California, and I don't know why people don't talk about it more often. The man 
in uh, uh, search of a solution for LA's chronic traffic woes, proposed uh, a plan to uh, expand the 405 by building a new freeway on top of the existing oh, yeah. freeway. Do you remember the, the double, double decker? Do you remember the double decker freeway, Mitch? There's a sketch artist picture of it. If you search Arnold Schwarzenegger freeway. Uh, two-story freeway. Double decker freeway. And he basically, <laughs> if you look at anything, he says like, "Ah, oh, we need to build a freeway on top of the freeway." And the top freeway had the buses and the light rail. And the cars were on the second freeway underneath. Just the most, and it was paid for with state money. It went through meetings and commissions. And that was his big fucking brain stroke to solve traffic in LA. That sounds like. A really shitty Austrian version of Soul Train. <laughs> like, hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, and welcome to Double Decker Freeway. We're gonna put Austrian Soul Train on the board. That's Double going on the board. Freeway. Austrian Soul Train. That's <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said we're going to build an autobahn on top of the autobahn. The, auto the double autobahn, I call it. <laughs> It's two auto bonds for the twice of one bond. Two we bonds do, for we, the price of I one. I do wish we had an auto bond in LA, though. Oh, totally. That would be awesome. Yeah, so, well, oh, we would, they one. would shut that thing the down. The bottom freeway could have <laughs> been would shut the that thing down. That would have so been awesome and a half. Fast, LA would not survive if you had an autobahn. They would fuck it, dude. There's you wouldn't no be way. able to go fast at all first because everyone all, would be like, oh, I'm going to go on the autobahn. First so I can of go all, a thousand miles an hour. More than any other city that would have an autobahn, LA's would be filled with a bunch of drunk morons who would just get fucking hammered and be like, let's go to the autobahn. Yeah, let's go drive real fast, man. It would be the new celebrity hotspot to get a DUI. I, I think I think you're you're you just have mirrored cars going past. I think neither of you have done any research on the actual autobahn. It's no, not, I know the actual autobahn. The, uh, yeah, well, I'm saying the actual autobahn. A lot of people just think, oh, it, there's no speed limit, which is not the case. It's that there's no mandated speed limit unless one is posted, and so they have yeah, digital yeah, yeah. signs all along the way. When it gets clogged, as it does. They'll they'll crank it way down. They'll crank it thirty five miles an hour, forty five miles an hour. So uh, I'm in favor of uh, when I'm driving on the freeway at fucking eleven o'clock at night on a Tuesday, and there's nobody, and yeah. there's six fucking lanes. It feels really stupid to drive well, sixty five. Honestly, I'm like, with I should be able to go ninety five, one hundred miles. With modern an hour. cars, you should be able to go ninety five, hundred, hundred and ten. Yeah, because they can take it. I mean, we're still using the speed limits that were, you know, we came up with basically based around cars from like the 70s right well yeah, that's not exactly. considered the people who were exactly. making a lot of the rules back then again did not know cars, what the fuck they yeah, were doing and cars weren't safe yeah. cars really yeah. were not that safe i mean compared to today no way yeah the one thing they had going for them was it was a shitload of metal you know so i mean plow through anything but like a fucking dub truck but other than that like well no that well, what that did is just it just broke up the metal so that they'd it would go into your skull instead of, I don't know, out on the highway where it belongs, which is, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's that funny thing of, um, like as they made the, uh, the freeway, uh, side rails, remember they put those bumpers on yeah, because people rails. used to hit the front and it would just split their car right down the middle is like, as those bumpers got more and more common, cars got more and more, uh, improved so that. Even if they did hit one of those without the bumper, it wouldn't split right down the middle and cut your head off or anything else yeah. like that. Nowadays, it would just hit the uh, the front impact zone and you just bounce right off. Yeah, the crumple zone. Yeah, exactly. So you know, you could you you could drive a hundred miles an hour straight at another car these days, and you actually could very well live. Well, I, I, I uh, do not want to test that. That's a tough one. That's a tough. I'm not one. saying it won't. Fucking fuck That's you up a lot, but it, you probably won't. Die. If you got your seatbelt on, so you don't fly through the front window. Yeah, I mean, when they do those crash tests, they do them faster than they ever do, and some of them they do them really fast just to be like, well, I'm just curious. It's like the the guy from Volvo. Uh, I don't know if it's their CEO or like one of their top presidents or something like that. His whole thing is like he wants to in his lifetime eliminate any kind of car death, and we're getting closer and closer to where. Uh, the deaths that happen in cars are when cars like fly off the road or are crushed by something from above. There's not a lot of actual car on car impacts where anybody is killed. That's not entirely eliminated, but it's pretty rare. So you could you could do a 95 mile an hour freeway, no problem. I'd be all about it. Or highways at the very least. Driving from here 
Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I've kicked it up 100. Going to Vegas, we need to be able to go as oh, fast yeah. as you want. Yeah, yeah. Or, or put in a fucking bullet train. Exactly. Thank you. Took the words right out of my mouth. Where the high speed rail? I say let me let me where race the, the bullet rail. More, all right, more than high speed rail. Honestly, right now is where's the fucking light rail that you're trying to get now that you tore out so you could put in all this fucking bus shit that doesn't well, work. Well, you can't you can't build through places like Beverly Hills, which are suing the city because of the expansion. I mean, that's what happens. We don't all the want time. crusty they buses killed, in our town. They no, it's killed. because they don't want people to be able. They don't want bums to be able to take the subway from Hollywood and yeah. get into Beverly Hills and start yeah. bumming for change in the streets. Well, the exactly. other thing. I mean, that's the yeah. other thing too. But like, that's the, it. That's yeah. part of it. I mean, that's it. But like, the shitty thing <laughs> about it is that if you made the city more, uh, it, if it was more coherent in terms of how you could live and work. You didn't have to just yeah. commute, uh, just just uh, just disproportionate amount of your time, you know. Or if you actually had a functional public transit system, then you would make employment opportunities easier for people because mm -hmm. of the lack of relying on cars and and such. Yeah, and but the whole like that. thing with Beverly Hills is they want that image that nobody here needs the bus. Exactly. We're all well enough off that we all well, have. Cars. To be we fair, they are. Cars. I mean, unless you're Beverly Hills adjacent, but Beverly I mean, Hills Austin, themselves, yeah, oh, who totally. does take the bus yeah. to Beverly Hills? You wouldn't. You know what I mean? Theoretically, anyway. No. Um, I mean, if you got a transfer to, you know, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I got a transfer. I'm pretty sure all their whip. fucking uh, housemaids and servants take the bus there. I'm pretty sure, sure they sure take that, it. That could save you Probably. money on, pretty sure on all the, the, on the brown the, folk. The professional <laughs> driver you have to pick up your housemaid and housemaid and such. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be, you save your professional a driver. Of she's you. driving there, and I'm not paying for gas. Right. Yeah. I feel like that pro might happen a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm not one of the right. elite, but I feel like the elite that actually are there by and large are probably some stingy motherfuckers and that's why they're there that's no, why they have all this money yeah, alive, yeah. so like i mean you get a table where some dude's got a wallet like if you're waiting tables you get a table where some dude's got a wallet full of hundred dollar bills and like you know he just doesn't give a fuck because if he loses it out of his back pocket like he doesn't care and he leaves you a tip for like five bucks which is gonna happen if well, you get five bucks you'll time. be very generous it happens all the time Lucky and then he's like thank you very much especially uh I mean, no offense, it's just not in their culture, but like Europeans. Well, tipping like is very that. different. Like, it's in very different, very, very different. Yeah. But I mean, by and large, it's usually people with a lot of money. Because I've had Europeans that come here and they're like, well, I know it's a custom, you know, and they'll tip you out and they're great. But it's usually rich people will fucking stiff you. It's a weird, it's, it's a weird, almost conspiratorial thing where it's like the companies don't want to make up for the tips by paying more. So they're allowed yeah. to pay below the minimum wage, which is awesome for them. Yeah. And they don't have to pay taxes on it, et cetera, et cetera. They can ask you to tip out other people in the restaurant as well on top yeah. of that. And then the people who would be in the power to make that decision or be in the power to give like life-changing tips are tipping the worst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah. we built this system where the middle class pays the wages of the people who serve us the good food that we don't want to pay for. It's a weird... Uh, I was reading an it's article once about you know like, the cheapskates and the really good tippers in Hollywood. And apparently... Carson Daly is the best tipper in Hollywood, and the Beckhams are the worst. You're gonna, have, that. You're gonna have to tell Kevin Smith that because he's trying to go for like the best tipper in Hollywood. He's, he says I'm a 50 percent tipper. All so right. Anywhere I go, I'm 50 percent tipper. Hell yeah. So, which is you know. Sam so I guess Car guy. Carson Daly is going 60 percent, yeah. 400. I'm know. not surprised at all that Beckhams are uh, the worst tippers. Um, they oh, do that seem Victoria. Like they are rather loathsome. I'll uh, bet you. I'll bet you David's probably not a terrible tipper, but yeah, just but not in front of her. Jaded as fuck from that woman. You she cannot, seems like a hateful she, woman. She is. Oh, she is right? what the term succubus was invented for. Yeah, yeah. That is. She is the definition of a succubus. That is Victoria Beckham, in a nutshell. I don't She's know enough birth. about her, but that's let's go with it. How I'll do go you? With it. What do you think? Well, I don't you know her at all, know, but Mitch, that's my about perception the woman of her. That was Posh Spice, who is like, well, I, I mean, just recently she found out so that her whole shtick in the band was that she didn't move during the show. She, she was, was the Posh one that, Spice. No, she was bitchy Spice. Like yeah, really, like, when yeah. you break it down, she was yeah. like, she didn't fucking. She just looked. She looked posh. She looked good, and that Guess was it. Guess who doesn't know anything about Spice Girls? Right here. Mitch, so, you gotta study your fucking, fucking opposition, son. When the revolution comes, man, how you gonna know who to put up against the wall, son? How you gonna know who the day walkers are who you versus going the with? night walkers, you going huh? With how you gonna know, you going son? With suave? Huh? You going with head and shoulders? Who what? you with? Huh? Look, look. How you gonna know where your dandruff is, okay? <laughs> For they fucking 
Smooth as a Smooth motherfucker. As a motherfucker. Uh, I, if, if it comes to putting her up against the wall, fine. I just didn't know about the Spice Girls and what her role was until very recently where somebody was like, bitch, I guess they did a show. What was it? Super Bowl? What did they do? Emmys? Grammys? They sang Academy somewhere. Awards. I, I didn't see they what did they something sang recently, at, but, yeah. and somebody had posted like a like an animated gif of the girls, and they're like, look at Pot. She doesn't even, she can't even bother to dance. And then all these people were like, that's kind of her shtick. And I was like, is it? Is that like... Like her shtick was like, "Hey, make me out to be the fucking cunty one." Like, yes, and that's her whole. And that's career. What like, Think about it. Haven't you always wanted her. a job where you haven't had to do like anything? Right, but like, I don't. And you get millions. Posh Spice of dollars. set like, you, the stage for Kim Kardashian. You wouldn't, Kardashian. You wouldn't totally. just. You wouldn't totally. just make that as like something that you think is funny unless you were just like that and people noticed it and then said, "Okay, here's your role in the band." And she was like, "Oh, great." That sounds. Or perfect. it was back in the heyday of just auditioning for a bunch of grifters. Oh, they totally fucking, auditioned for those hey, groups, man. Hey, grifters, putting with a girl group together. No real talent who right but what i'm saying is that you grifter is a pin, symbol you pin that personality to the chick that it fits and so they would have there can't just it wouldn't just be her being uh a, as a performance artist you know what i'm saying oh she's yeah. not like oh i'm just pretending to be a cunt no she's a you know bitch what that's what i'm saying <laughs> so you pick she the, would have to be you pick yeah. the person that's there and then she and then she the spice girls wraps up and she doesn't, unlike some of the other ones who pretended to do <laughs> solo things. That sounds like a great follow-up album. And Spice Girls <laughs> wraps up. Uh, so some of them do do a solo thing, you know. Uh, Was that a name of a Spice Girl? Jerry did no, label it. Uh, the Ginger Spice. Mm. Uh, oh, I remember uh, seeing Jerry that. How well? Uh, yeah, because she got the big boobs. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I, I remember that. But she tried to have it like a solo singing career, and then I guess she did Playboy. Uh, I don't recall the Sterling singing career. Uh, I do recall playing. I do recall singing. They they all did it. Uh, yeah. Sporty I mean, except Spice, for, I, guess, I believe, like flirted very briefly with a solo career, and then you had Scary Spice, who ended up with Eddie Murphy for a while. Yeah. Uh, and then they had a that. baby drama, and then she split off, and now she's with somebody else. And then there was Baby Spice. Who I never understood, by the way, that she, why she was called Scary Spice. Because she like, was just black. She's like, scary. She's like a black scary. chick in, in London. And she it's like, had, oh, that's frightening. She was aggressive know, she and had, feisty, she, she, and she rocked. She knew what she, she wore, wanted, and she had she, crazy hair. She had and, crazy hair. She wore leopard print things, and she was unlike that's not Posh. Scary. I mean, no, none of this compared stuff. Compared to I, Posh Spice, she was terrified. That. Sporty Spice or Baby Spice? Way more Baby Spice. Remember fucking what? My God, that was kind of freaky. This is Baby Spice was freaky. As we recap this. This is one of the <laughs> lowest points in Western culture. I, feel. I think us talking about this right what now. What was the redhead again? Yeah, she was just low ginger low. spice? She's ginger spice. Oh. Ginger spice, yeah. Ginger spice. I mean, duh, Mitch. Come I mean, on, she's the... She's, she's, she's ginger spice. spice. Yeah, she, yeah. She's ginger spice. The baby the spice baby chick freaked baby me the fuck spice. out. It's scary. She was scary. The fact it's, that there was a baby spice is gross. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm with you. gross as It was like, let's find someone who looks like a little girl that can just eat lollipops of stuffed animals. So gross. With ponytails. So sexually, like, put up on this pedestal. Ponytails and gross. And then we just need someone to stand around and look cunty yeah. all the time. Who looks like a cunt all the time? Uh, Victoria, Posh, what you doing? I think was I mean, this would be like like everyone else like kind of try to do some solo shit, right? And then she was like, "I'm just gonna go marry David." She's like, "I'm gonna marry David Beckham." I'm out. Bye. And I'm gonna be Posh Spice for the rest of my life. Bye. I'm done. I've always wanted to just be a housewife. And Bitch, she's like, you are not. And then she was like, "Oh, David, now did you're... she marry him and then she moved him here?" Yeah, she was like, "Oh, David, uh -huh. your well, career's he, wrapping up. Let's he... go to the MLS and sign a contract." But dude, go he to got the a fucking ridiculous contract. Yeah, but they always wanted to make the move to America to become icons who did Burger King commercials. That yeah. was the point. It wasn't a mistake that he got the contract. Oh, you know. Yeah. It was the it was the natural conclusion of Posh Spice was, conquering America. Let's try America. and make fucking soccer work in America, by right? And, and it's a, it was essentially the same blueprint that someone like Kim Kardashian follows. Do you know? I mean, you cannot talk about so Kim Kardashian that. without seeing that she uh, clearly saw and followed in the trail that was depressingly blazed by Victoria, Victoria. Beckham. Victoria, that's can I, essentially. Can I move off a of spice? She's Victoria girls? Beckham with Please. more charisma. Okay. Well, even the chat room is complaining. Just the card. Is that Jose Kardashian. Chavez? Yeah. We're going to talk no, about talk Spice about World. Not talking about Chavez. I'm just talking about a random chatter in the chat room. All right. Uh, Dale, I'll let you pick. Uh, you got no taste. From from some of the <laughs> from some of the, the items I, I, I would like to go over. So you pick from one of the following. Uh, the new McDonald's breakfast after midnight menu. Uh, <laughs> Didn't know about that. The New Zealand Hobbit coins. Uh 
uh, the the reality of a Jurassic Park uh, uh, situation oh, happening. Oh. Hold on. Uh, scient- uh, uh, psychiatrists uh, discovered that uh, you can judge 90% of a stranger's personal characters by looking at their shoes. Uh, the funny prank Bill Murray likes to play on Kelly Lynch's husband every time he sees Roadhouse. <laughs> Or the Florida man who prepared for a zombie apocalypse uh, by robbing a medical store. Uh, I I gotta go with. I work at Universal Studios. I gotta go with uh, Jurassic Park. Okay, okay. Well, that was the one that Teddy got all excited as well. What? Uh, as they say, uh, science. Uh, they they've done some research, and it so, uh, as just so happens, this will make you very happy, Teddy. Uh, there <laughs> is. It's it would be impossible. To ever bring back dinosaurs because DNA on, has man. a shelf life. I don't believe it. And shit. it is useless after. Um, okay, what about the ones that are frozen in poles? Even those. I don't yeah, it. it's just slush. I don't trust them. Has a half life of 521 working. years. Um, and uh, not even in amber, not in ice, nothing what about, like that. What about, would, the, um, what about the ones that were in Jurassic Park 3? Because that was later on. Good. I don't know about that one. I I just I say, don't trust these motherfuckers, son. These motherfuckers say, oh, yeah, DNA only got a shelf life, five hundred twenty-one years. Every we single keep working at fixing this is, it. This is what they say. Uh, every they single also told me that condom would work. <laughs> every single nucleotide bond in a DNA strand is broken after, at most, under ideal preservation conditions, six point eight million years. But that's under perfect conditions. Under perfect conditions. Um, the last dinosaurs, the most recent ones, yeah. 65, 65 million, million years. years ago. So, uh, you fucked. Well, you know what? That's depressing, no, but we, know, should very be, depressing. Uh, we should be able to get some pretty cool uh, mammoths and shit. This is good. That's the only thing that this gives Teddy hope. This is a real hope. good thing, okay? Now, we can it's fucking depressing stop, to me, though. stop standing around, wasting time trying to bring back murderers who would ruin everything, okay? And focus on some good shit like, uh, you know here in blindness all right give up the dinosaur dream motherfuckers okay <laughs> give it up. what if velociraptors have uh or or what was those uh the ones when they spit the fluid the i don't know what acid? they're called but i know what, what you're if, talking what about what if that acid the one that actually, killed newman what yeah. yeah what if that acid cured blindness yeah, well, that's a I tough think break, bro. Blind. That's a real tough break for us. I think that us. made him blind, actually. Maybe it would have the reverse that's effect. T- that's a movie. We're talking about reality. <laughs> <laughs> what, All right. if, what if, this is, this what is, if it has an enzyme that cures human blindness? Yo, son, you got labs. You could retro your ears, you know, some <laughs> shit, you, son. If you find if you out... You do the DNA breakdown, you could compound, you know, <laughs> molecules, some shit, B. Get, the, get your science game on. All right, Teddy. White Where lab do you coat, come down? Motherfucker. Let's suppose it was possible to bring them back, but they could only be potbelly-sized. So pot belly of Oh, oh God! God. That's you even gotta better. do this damn yeah. pot even belly better. dinosaur That's thing. That's even better. God, yeah. Don't you, you fuck even better. Pocket dinosaurs? Oh, man. I hate both yeah. of you right Pocket now. Pocket dinosaurs. Teddy will not You're get serious? on board. No, but really? Do, see, the great thing is a, a pocket dinosaurus would still be like, you know, you could walk it. It'd be like a Doberman. You know, It'd be like a Chihuahua, maybe. No, not if it was a pocket brontosaurus. So angry, it was a pot smoke belly right size, now. pot belly size brontosaurus. I hate that big ass neck. Pot belly pocket size fucking animals is the stupidest thing. The only in the thing world. I want, the only the thing that, all right, the only pot belly you could, animal you could that should exist is the pot belly pig. That's the only yeah. animal that I think should exist on a small scale for that. People that carry dogs in bags around, like into the grocery Gross. store and shit. Okay. Fuck you. This sounds like the words it. of a man who's never seen a Pomsky. I, d- a Pomeranian hearing, Husky? Hearing the name, no. It's going to be a poofy little cute Husky, and I'm sure it tastes great, but I want nothing to do with it. It's cute as shit, man. It's adorably, unbelievably cute as shit. It's, it's too I'm not going to accept this. It's too cute. I'm not going to accept this at all. It's too cute. First of all... It shouldn't exist because it's too cute. It's too cute. Look at that. Ow! Come on. There's you a are smile yeah, but such a bitch. Is it going to grow yeah, up yeah. to be bigger and like pull a sled or is it just going <laughs> to no, pull me on a radio a, flyer? It's like, a what Pomeranian is sized husky. Pomsky, that's baby. It, forever. That's Pomsky. small. Come on. My God. That's what fucking adorable as God shit. Rod. Uh, Pomsky's, that's what hu- God rot this time. <laughs> See, so you motherfuckers yeah, need to stop okay wasting time with dinosaurs and keep on breeding these adorably <laughs> cute little dogs so that bitch backs off of shit. Okay, listen, the thing right. about the fucking dinosaur problem is all I gotta say, okay? 
Uh, it's a fucking it's a fucking pipe dream, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. You can breathe a sigh of relief finally, Teddy. Thank you. I brought you some son. good science news. Good. Even though it's all been good news to me, you find a way to turn it into gloom and doom. Ah, uh, you know it's never gonna be happy, Mitch. I thought you were gonna talk about the. Oh, Jurassic here's something Park happy. Here's something happy. Uh, you know how you know how for like years I've been saying like McDonald's could triple their stock if they just did breakfast all day. Right. Oh, totally. So now all day or day. It's not Breakfast. quite. It's not quite all day, but and they McDonald's. now have. They have. They're trying out this new thing, but up, but called up, Breakfast up. After Midnight. I'm loving it. From midnight to 4 a.m. Graveyard shift. Stand up. The entire breakfast menu is from on. from midnight to four and then they stop serving it from four to six <laughs> and then they start apparently. serving it again apparently yeah yeah so. wait what the what's the fuck yeah point? there's like a apparently two hour so. like what do they serve for like they don't they clean all 24 hour restaurants like have a time when they're not serving you know what if i rolled up in it's your weird. spot i would i would be i would be so hot son. it happened to me a couple times uh over my life uh oh <laughs> oh i'm sorry <laughs> I'm just saying, I get the munchies a lot. And no, I, you know. you, I love the way you fucking trail off. Like, you're about to go into, like, some real, like, Arabian Night-style flashback. And, like, it happened a couple times to me. <laughs> the you dust know, was yeah. uh, waning across the moor. I was a young uh, No, actually, I'm sorry. I, I, the original one I read was from Midnight to Four. They've since updated the article. It is uh, from Midnight onwards. It is going to go. It is going to go. That's onwards. awesome. There you go. So they, I really they, hope they're going they to be to They're going to be the new drunk market. They took I mean, out the one gonna, bone I had to pick. I would have gone there last night if I'd known. Does, does anyone really want breakfast at midnight, though? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Ed think McMuffin? of Teddy. Come on. You want a, You don't want a sausage McMuffin when you are no, hammered after the bar? Shit, I would yeah, rather go to Taco Bell. Oh, no. Well, that's Taco Bell has the Rivopolis. Rivopolis, holler at your boy right now. Stand up for fourth meal. Take it to the streets. Uh, I, you I, are supporting I will say... a corporate ad campaign. <laughs> Wait, if <laughs> I could get fourth meal, like you have been I have a dream. If <laughs> every I could... child will be given fourth meal oh, in between. If, only, if it, if, if, it the time. if at three a.m. right, <laughs> bars are closed. I'm feeling a little drunk. Uh... A, a sausage McMuffin and a large fry. Oh yeah, dude! Right? Count me in. Because they got right. It's not just in. breakfast, right? You can't get a. You can't it's get not a fry. just breakfast. No, no. They're just saying they'll also serve breakfast. And then breakfast. at four o'clock, they probably stop. No, no. I guess else it, it's going something. from midnight onward till the end of breakfast. Till the so end probably, of breakfast, I guess twelve to ten. So right? you could, I can get a normal thing. Where I could also get breakfast. Essentially. Yeah. I still. <laughs> What's so not normal about breakfast? I guess it's normal. I'm not really a breakfast. Really bre- bre- like breakfast. good it's all a, the time. I'm not a breakfast fan. Okay, we talked about. I gotta be in the right mood. Terrorist. I gotta be in the right mood for terrorist. breakfast. Honestly, terrorist. I'm really not a big breakfast fan. Terrorist. You know what I'm saying? Terrorist. Uh, I would much rather a waffle as opposed to a pancake, as Mitch Hedberg famously said. A waffle is a pancake I'm with, you there. with a syrup. I don't like trap. the pancakes, but I'll take the fucking sausage okay. and muffin. Okay, I don't like eggs. That shit is gross. Ugh. Uh, I can't get on board with you there. I could get some bacon. That's great. Hash browns. I might be able to fuck with y'all. Uh, I make really good home fries, so right, I might be able. To, I might be able to get you on the breakfast train. You can't get me on no breakfast train. <laughs> How do you not like eggs? Because I'm an American. The, and that Americans doesn't make any eggs. sense. <laughs> <laughs> America's any... home of egg McMuffins. I don't know what kind of America eggs. you grew up in. The one with egg McMuffins. But in my America, with, where there was where the eggs. chickens come home to roost, there ain't no eggs. Well, that's because you're living with the chickens, and they'll fucking kill you if you take their eggs. That's a fair point. Touche. All I'm saying is... I don't like is, Roscoe's chicken I've only, waffles. The only never been. Before. Never been. I've yes. never been either. Uh, I'm sure, I don't like the idea of mixing waffles I really, and chicken you know, together. I, I bring that up at the Negro Conference all the time. Uh, once a month, that the uh, the combination makes me somewhat uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, it is a point of contention. Right. Uh, highly contested. We, we have no, reason. we have no course of resolution uh, in front of us. Right Too now. many people like chicken right. and waffles. I right? am uh, Don Quixote of Negroes uh, on this battle. So you're chasing windmills. I'm chasing windmills shaped waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing waffle mills. <laughs> chasing waffle. <laughs> There's buckets of chicken I'm going. Do not I'm mix gonna, this I'm shit. Gonna, I'm chasing waffle mills. Chasing waffle going. mills going on the board so this is what i'm saying though, that right? sounds like a great Listen, breakfast joint the, only, the waffle mill the waffle mill sounds waffle like a mill. great breakfast joint actually right. uh sure why not 
I'm just saying, the only thing I ever got from McDonald's for breakfast was a biscuit, bro. Just a plain biscuit. That's it, son. I never. Then re- you're not really qualified to discuss. Oh, McDonald's maybe breakfast. your shit is gross. First of all, your eggs is gross. Your sauce nope. is gross. You fucking hide your kids, hide your wives. You've had his sauce. Because all your breakfast is 1. gross. 1.4 billion served would say otherwise. You know what, motherfucker? All y'all got bad taste buds. <laughs> You are the one percent. I am the one percent. You are an elitist. Look, mine are so refined. Tony's a food elitist. They are so refined, son. That's so refined. You ain't got no Gouda at this McDonald's. Get out of here. I just can't taste anything more because I've been smoking for a couple of years. Uh, that's your problem. So. Oh, wow. All right. So um, let's see here. You want to go? I'm still going fourth meal. I'm still going fourth meal. So. Uh, look, I love me some Taco Bell. Don't get me wrong. Would you? So would you just eat? What would you get? I just want to know. What would you get at McDonald's? Breakfast, dinner, everything's available. Midnight, you roll up. All right, twelve thirty. You've been. You get a D squared. You've been drinking. You've been smoking. You smoke already know what I you got. Can't. Give me a soda, by the way. What you want? Damn. Breakfast is it. available. Breakfast is available. Breakfast is on the, the whole, table. All menu, everything right now. A sausage McMuffin and a Da-boom. McDouble. Oh, all right. wow! Went Mix fry. it up. Wow! Mix it up. Wow! Okay. Would okay. you end up making a McDouble sausage McDouble McMuffin? How drunk am I? I don't you, know. You're, you're drunk enough that you got to ride to McDonald's to hit up <laughs> to no, get there, breakfast yeah. at 1 a.m. Totally. You know what I mean? You ain't got to go home and like make a sandwich. Well, I got to get a ride. I can't ride my bike through. Nah, son. You're that drunk. Oh, wait. Do they let you ride your bike through the drive through I No. They, they might let they him. They let you. They don't let Dale ride a bike through. Me. I'm not going to ride a bike through. Excuse me. Hello, everyone. I would I'd like just to order, like to, uh, order a uh, McDouble. <laughs> oh my God! A, it's a pedal uh, sausage McMuffin. He would get it. What you got, Mitch? No fries? Nothing. I already told you. I, I would. I would go sausage McMuffin and a large fry. Do you see how his like eight eyes are glazed over as he's like imagining ordering right now? Oh, totally. He is. You're in like a real blissful place, That's where he's place, going Mitch. tonight, man. Don't deny it. Don't deny it, man. Okay, I'm moving on. Then. Don't you try and throw me under the bus. I'm not trying to throw anything. I'm trying to move the show along. Um. Went on Friday, a uh, uh, fan of the show uh, and past guest of the show, Tanya Estrada, come up, came over here and we did the uh, Mitch Gets High stuff. And uh, and on it, she had explained to me that there's this um, there's this plan, this Facebook plan, um, to on December 21st. Is that the big apocalyptic day? Yes. I think it's the 21st. I'm not sure. Get I a bunch haven't... of people together to pretend to be zombies. Now, I was the teddy of the situation where I immediately said, that is a terrible idea. <laughs> if you Someone convince, will get thank shot. You. Yes, that's thank exactly you. what I Someone said. Someone will I said, get if you shot. Get, thank you, son. If thank you. Get, you. If you get 10 people to do it, you might be all right. But if you get like 1,000, watch the fuck out. Murder, because son. it's it only takes one person to wonder if... Hey, really we got street walkers, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Murder, son. Someone, yep. someone, someone gets the street sweeper. Immediately what him. I said. So, uh, anyway, to that point, I'm glad we got a the Florida same man uh, the other day uh, was charged with holding up a local medical supply store, and he's been held by local authorities. They searched his apartment and found he had cordoned off sections of his apartment and started stockpiling weapons, and, he's, and he had, like, a blog going where he's like, I have to stop the zombie attack. I know it's coming. I'm, you, gotta, you guys got to stockpile weapons, stockpile supplies, and he was arrested in his attempts to stockpile from medical supply store. Here's and the thing. This is, zombie- and he's clearly like psychologically fucked, yeah. but this is that's the exact person that you're gonna walk past on this ten thousand person zombie walk on exactly. December twenty first. And my argument was if if I suddenly like just walked out like I just woke up one day and I walked out and there was an eerie quiet and I just saw like zombies and nothing else. <laughs> I'm gonna right. wait for at least one of them to get shot in the head before I do it myself. Because I don't want to be, you know what I mean? I got to. You're very generous. You're a very generous host, sir. If I'm running a ghost town and one more y'all motherfuckers come shuffling. If there was nobody around. Dude, at murder, son. Well, it's First person I see. In Hollywood. All right, think about in Hollywood. You go outside. No, on my street, there have definitely been times, like, on my street at, like, let's say, five in the morning. And you don't see any cars. They don't. Hollywood Boulevard's not really a commuting street. So at five in the morning, when people are just trying to get to work and shit, there are no cars. And there really aren't that many people. So yeah. I'm saying if I walk downstairs at 5, let's say I didn't know what time it was, whatever the fuck, my electricity was out, and I just walked out That's a to... a red flag right there. Yeah, well, it happens all the time in this complex. But uh, I walk out to the street, and I don't see anything. I don't hear any cars, blah, blah. You're and I see... <laughs> 
10, <laughs> 10, people look, 10 people looking like zombies walking down the street, my initial thought is like, oh, another fucking zombie wall. I hate performance and they got art. And they got sanctioned by the city to do it, to yeah. block off the streets, or there's like they're filming something, which, again, happens all the time on my street. With all of these things, I'm not just going to start killing people. No. I would wait for at least one head to blow up before I was like, okay, that's what we're doing. I'm on board. I'm on board. Let's do I'd, this. I'd go back to my apartment. I would lock myself in. I would. I would. And wait I would for look out the I'm look with out Dale. The I'm okay. with Dale. Okay. I would look out the window and okay. I would be like, I've got enough food in here. Like, you know, I certainly got enough to live on for two days. Water. I got water. As long as you don't, if you take it easy on the weed. Exactly. Well, yeah. totally. Well, yeah. I mean, if it, you I'm know, going my real assumption hard on the is, weed, my so assumption is. After two days, I can go back to the store if there wasn't. And if there was, I can go to the store and just take everything anyways. Because it was a zombie apocalypse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you got walkers everywhere. Walkers? Not everywhere. Come on. I live in Van Nuys. Not that many. Well, they're going to be, be everywhere. So, dude. That would be the last place You just I'd wait go. a day. <laughs> and if it's still like that the next day, I'm like, all right, you know what? This shit might have actually happened. I'll, I'll go out and I'll start killing some shit. All yeah, right. All right. Okay, see, now listen. But initially, no, come on. What I'm going to do. Now, your apartment looks out onto a street where you would be able to watch walkers from a very close distance. And they don't have to go that far to go up those little steps right up into your place. Yeah. I don't know about you. I'm up more on the third floor. I'm in a bit I'm of a very castle. Vulnerable. I'm, I'm very really in a vulnerable. castle, if anything. I live yeah. in a fucking yeah. shed. I'm, I'm literally <laughs> okay. Okay. on the vulnerability scale. I am here in the middle, apparently, between the two. Are you on any ground level? Totally. Uh, ground level you plywood, no fuck, stucco. Sir. I'm fuck. dead. Uh, so, what happens is I'm keeping shit real low key, okay? <laughs> uh, curtains drawn. I if I see a motherfucker shifting or uh, shuffling through. Shifling? Uh, shifling. I don't even know. Shifting and shuffling at the same time, I suppose. Is I what like that it. Is. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Uh, if you're Every shuffling, day I'm shuffling. If you're shuffling on my street, okay. Uh, I and like I come out right, and I just like see it, but you don't see me. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna lock it up. I'm gonna see if I could figure out how, what kind of radius of outbreak I'm dealing with. Okay, <laughs> is this All a right? localized event? And then yeah, what I'm going true. to do is prepare myself to murder a lot. Of things, do you understand? But me? see, that can't be your goal going out the gate. You gotta just have that as a contingency plan. Listen, yeah. I don't think y'all motherfuckers. Stealth, listen, right? here's stealth the problem. See, no, so here's the problem, right? Here's the whole problem with the whole zombie thing. And I didn't want, like, I'm glad we brought it up, right? right. <laughs> because, right. like, I've you know, tried to, I've been getting. I into got the, good. I got problems with it. I've too. been getting into the Walking Dead a little bit right before the season premiere happened. Right, me and my lady watching it. The show is so fucking stupid on Never so many levels. It. First of all, you don't, 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 don't bother. For, uh, <laughs> but listen. In terms of the whole zombie thing, right? Like, the thing about the fucking zombie apocalypse, whenever you look at all these people and, like, you see the way they talk about it and how they prepare for it and all the survival skills that go into it, there's no strategy, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there's no fucking aim to the zombiness at all. Like, all they, there's no comprehension of the fact that the world as you know it has fucking fallen apart and so you ceased want organized zombies to exist. Or? No, I don't want organized zombies. What I want is... Organized is, survivors. I'm saying oh, okay. the competency of the survivors is really nonsensical, bro. It's really nonsensical based on everything that I see from the zombie thing. It's just for, for people who are... the. And this is the, the other thing, too. The people who project the whole zombie terror are people who don't know anything about day-to-day -day existential threats so in that sense like so you're more worried about zomb zombie terrorists i'm just saying like i know you motherfuckers wouldn't survive son like i know there's whole cottage industries for zombie survival and like you motherfuckers don't know shit about survival sorry to break it to you son but you don't know shit about existential survival none at all none and that's the thing that I think is so fucking silly anytime I see anything about zombies and these fucking silly ass hot houses. I'm like, well, first of all, you're going inside like a dumbass. So you're yeah. dead, son. You're dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Either go back home, prepare for the murder season to start, <laughs> or go out and forage for some shit and prepare to be slaughtered to death. Yeah. That's that. Part I will there. say that's that seems to be what they do in The Walking Dead. They do a lot of foraging. They're no, like, son, looking they do for a lot like, of real stupid shit. Like, they go camping. they go back for people who they in their fucking family and shit. Son, they cry over people's bodies when they get bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, They yeah, try yeah, and yeah. save yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Son. Yeah. son, listen. If you on my team, okay, you get bit, and it's an apocalypse. You gonna be shot in the face, son. 
It's true. It's true, grit style. You I can what? do nothing for you. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. And if your family member starts crying like a bitch, I'm gonna kill them too, son. Cause I ain't got no time for no sad loose ends, bro. There's a zombie apocalypse going on. Yo, it's real. Not dealing with it. Check your fucking. Not gonna emotions. have a therapy session right, right now. Right. Listen, your dad just got bit. You knew that motherfucker had a chance to die. And if you didn't know, you got too little self awareness to be fucking of use to me. Y'all both gonna have to die. Bye. Bye. Thing that never really made sense. I had like two big questions for the whole zombie thing that never made sense to me. A, why don't they eat each other ever? You never see zombies just feasting on each other. I, I would speculate that that would be because they don't have a consciousness. They're just hungry and that's their only motivation. Right. So maybe why not the ergo the zombie the would be fed off of right. well, or something. I look, I'm not saying like, look, if I'm in a mood for a filet mignon, like, yeah, right. Filet, but like, if I can't get it, I think that's why they get I think that's why they get that's why they get flank steak. I don't care. Birds, animals, things of that nature get consumed as well. Yeah, but the zombies themselves never consume each other for one. And then the other one is like how long before they just starve like what are they what is what is keeping them going and that's what they never really like explain in these things like what keeps the zombies they always try that's to like it's so they always try to go saying, with like son. they always try to go with like Satan. oh it's a it's a know, uh, like i it's a it's a disease or it's an infection. That's a, it's like an infection. That's the whole thing of like they bite you and now you're infected. Yeah. So it's a blood trend. So it's so something's keeping them going. Like what the would fever. really you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, eventually. It would I mean, just, I would imagine flat. they'd have to have the human lifespan though, and they can't reproduce, right? They're not like just awkwardly bumping into each other. So eventually, mm -hmm. it's got to end. So just hold up, man. Hold up. That's, That's what, what I'm saying, thinking. Son. Like you just you could just chill someplace. You just find a compound and you're good. Go yeah, to that bro. fucking place. But that what's, the, that's uh, what I'm Walton's saying, son. Built you know, Walmart. this is the thing. Like, these motherfuckers is not prepared for the real when the zombie apocalypse comes in a survival duty. And I feel like this is partially because, as happens on so many things, like uh, with the Arnold Schwarzenegger effect. Where you're like, yeah, look at me. Uh, <laughs> I'm running from the zombie because right, he's scary. Right. And it's just that sense. Like, I feel like especially if you're uh, some sort of uh, diehard uh, walking dead type, you know, and uh, that's you're like, yeah, fucking zombies. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm prepared for like, the zombie yeah. fucking outbreak and the apocalypse and shit. Right. Like, it's too clean. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's too fucking clean. Y'all ain't got no gloves on. Y'all ain't got no plastic suits on. You got, got some, you gonna get some blood that's gonna fucking infect yeah, you. So you're gonna get scratched. You're, gonna brush up you're on not something. just gonna go around stabbing like 50 zombies in the face with a knife and get no scratches, son. Well, how is it just the bite that infects you? It's a, I mean, that's what it's, like. it's a scratch too, right? So, like, a scratch too can infect you. That's what I mean. You, you go, wait, it's you a go scratch run around. Too now? Yeah. I mean, so it, they've just changed the rules of yeah, zombies, the like they vampires. The they've, they've, they've said that. They've, they've been saying, like, check you for scratches on at least Walking Dead. And in so some saying, of the other walk, ones, dead, that's now like twenty eight days rules, later, man. they had they were very particular about the blood thing. Like if it got in somebody's eye, they were like, yeah, but those weren't uh, zombies; those were infected people. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the, that's the argument. That's the same. I always said that too. I was like, it's not really a zombie movie. They move yeah. too fast, blah blah. But it follows a lot of the same rules. So I always preferred that to actual zombie movies, to be perfectly honest with you, because I thought it was much yeah, more realistic. More realistic. That's yeah, and that's happen. what I'm saying. Listen, son, if the ref if the fucking apocalypse pops off, you ain't gonna have a bunch of shuffling motherfuckers uh just taking well, a I sweet didn't, I didn't like, last time. I didn't like the, no, the Yo. Dawn of the Dead remake where they where the zombies were really fast, I didn't care for that. Because I think they would be slow because they're conserving en energy like snakes or something like that, where it's like they could live a very long time without eating, and that's the whole like fear. 20 Days Later, specifically, not taking it as a zombie film, but just as a horror movie with that kind of uh, uh, similarity, uh, they had that whole thing where they were like, eventually they just fucking starve to death. Yeah. That's why they had that one guy yeah. chained up. They were like, he'll just starve. You yeah. know, he'll just die. And it's like, okay, see, that that would be, like, that'd give me just a, a glimmer of hope. Or be like, all I need to do is just not be eaten for a little while. I can hang out here. Yeah. Wait for these motherfuckers to starve. Was that a week, two weeks before they... I'm sure. I'm, you know? I'm sure they'd die before that because they'd probably have to get hydration from the blood. Right. Like they're not drinking water. But like this, you know? there's that shit. Like there's that shit in Walking Dead that like that fucking pisses me off about zombies when like the fucking family member gets bit and motherfuckers is all sad and like I can't do it. I can't do it. You're still there. I'm like you would be dead, son. Oh, totally. Like, if you were my wife or my son or my daughter or a fucking cousin or a babysitter. You know what I mean? And like, and I saw oh, you. Definitely the babysitter. <laughs> like all y'all are dead. 
Dude, I mean, it's not even the same world anymore. Yeah. What the fuck am I holding on yeah. to? I'm holding on to emotions and feelings that don't exist for people. They ain't never coming back, son. Yeah. I'm a murderer. Either you. shut the fuck up or run out screaming and kill a shit. Right. But, like, that shit is so dumb to me. It's like the dumb. And that's how, like, you ain't never had to survive in your life, son. You ain't never had to cut nobody out. No, you I, ain't I think, never it, had I think it does. I think it does make sense. No, in in regard, like, well, listen, you're a pussy. It, I mean, that stuff takes Look, what I'm saying is, like, yeah, you're, you you're talking about, like, a, a zombie person. A zombie apocalypse <laughs> is happening, right? And you're going, you're going, like, <laughs> okay. He's watching, like, ooh. Like, a lot of this shit, you're going, like, this sucks real bad. Everything sucks. But you know what? I got, like, in The Walking Dead, it's a lot of, like, oh, uh, two sisters or mother and her son or whatever. It's a lot of, like, hold on. So these are people that were very close to you prior to all the shit hitting the fan. And a lot of people have died. And about the only thing you got left. You can call it stupid, but you're just being an argumentative dick. I'm not being but argumentative. Listen, what I'm saying is the only like you you're around people that are very fucking that have been with you your whole life that you fucking care for like you never care for anybody. Everything else is falling shit. Everybody else that you had to run to, all of your support group people, all of your fucking <laughs> ever the lady at the grocery store, anybody you fucking ever knew is trying to eat you alive now. And if they touch you, you're one of them, and you're gonna try to kill everybody. And so, like, the only solace you got is, like, yeah. I'm with people I really love and I care about. And one little thing happens where they're bit, and you're like, fuck, you goddamn... And you're, like, pissed. You're like, I fucking... I have to kill you. But they always have that thing where it's like, well, it's going to take a while for them to turn. Let me pay my last respects. And Which then, is the dumb... It's the dumb ab- part. I think you would. No, I think no. You would. Do you know why? I, and this is the difference, son. Because I'm not going to fucking take the time... To dabble in some sort of emotional luxury that Teddy's doesn't exist running. in a fucking post-apocalyptic wasteland, son. I don't have running. time for no fucking last rites. You know why? Because I already had that conversation with your ass before the zombie attack happened. And I was like, you know, if one of us gets killed, you better put us the right the fuck down. You better <laughs> yeah. not waste no fucking time yeah. before we come back and bite your ass and ruin the whole yeah. fucking you chance can't you got salvation. And you me. can't so, pretend that now, after they're dead... You wouldn't be like, man, that's a real shame. I missed the fuck out of them because it, I really liked having them when by I my side. When I survived the attack, I might fucking lament their loss. That's what I'm talking about. So, But I'm going to kill them first. That's the difference, Mitch. I'm not going to sit around and fucking hold your zombie man fucking action. head. I'm not going to hold your <laughs> I'm zombie I'm going to cover your zombie ass. Like, I'm talking about, like, you got fucking, like, this bitch is bleeding from the face and you, like, go rub your yeah. blood on your body. Like, you ain't going to get infected. The contagious shit. It's yeah. the dumbest shit in the world, son. It's the dumbest shit in the world. You gonna fucking put this emotional sentiment in this? You gonna die? Bye. You're not even my sister no more. This moment you got your fucking Achilles ripped out by some zombie's teeth, you were ceasing to be my the sibling. Only, the only time I buy that shit is if it's like medieval zombies and they don't know about germs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like, think about it. I mean, we got zombies now. Maybe we, maybe we had them, uh, you know, a while ago. Maybe that's what the whole Merlin thing came from. You know, Merlin got yeah. rid of zombies. You know what I mean? He could have been the original zombie killer. The original or like that town in France the that, that had the dancing fever. That's, that's right. You know. That's, that's true. Uh, Weird shit happen that's all the time. To be back syphilis, I don't know. Weird shit happen all the time, bro. All right, we are almost out of time. Um, all right. Uh, pick from the following three. Uh, the New Zealand Hobbit coins. The psychologist's uh, contention that you can judge uh, 90% of a stranger's personal characteristics by their shoes. Or Bill, Mar- Bur- Bill Murray's hilarious prank with Kelly Lynch's husband every time he sees Roadhouse. Um, decisions. I got to go Hobbit coin, man. Okay. In I go Hobbit coin. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. You're token to nerd. Out. In New Zealand, Hobbit- they oh, have yes. made legal. Oh, I've been token. Legal tender. Legal tender. Uh, gold coin. Uh, Hobbit coins. <laughs> wow. uh, in New Zealand, because they're so excited. Like the only time we pay attention to New Zealand is when. Peter Jackson makes a film, which they're all in New Zealand. Well, shit. Um, there's special commemorative coins. That, again, legal tender. They, uh, they're they valued between $25 and $3,000, but there's only one $3,000 coin, and it was spe- specifically minted for Bob Wilkinson, the sheep king of Christchurch and the country's <laughs> richest man. Uh, <laughs> Who's on it? The cheapest one will cost twenty five dollars. Even though I'm seeing ten dollar marks there, so I'm guessing well, it's, it's worth more novelty. than its uh, worth it's more probably, than its face value. But yeah, 
Either that or it's like, I'm, hey, I'm, this ten dollar coin costs twenty five bucks because you're not spending this shit, obviously. I'm really yeah. interested in the uh single three thousand dollar coin uh minted specifically. Who's on it? That's, That's what, what I was talking know. about. Bob yeah. Wilkinson. The a, sheep uh, king is it Google of Christchurch. Of Christchurch. Yeah, I don't know what a sheep king Christ, is. Christchurch is a is a city. Hey, hey. I know that much. You but, may be uh, you may be a Google, but a you know sheep, sheep king. king <laughs> is a uh Sheep prince, maybe. I'll give you that. <laughs> the sheep prince. You're a sheep duke. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, duke. sheep walk on the ground. When it's wet outside, they live little sheep prints. Yeah. So there, that's that's a thing that's happening on. Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on a second. There was a push to get letter writing recognized as an Olympic sport? Letter writing? Let's not bury the lead here, New Zealand. What's that? Letter writing? There was a campaign by uh, New Zealand delegate Pete Pearson to get letter writing recognized as an Olympic sport. Yes. Letter yes, writing abroad being New Zealand's national pastime, followed by seed spitting and whoa, 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 netball. Whoa, 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 is this, whoa, a, is this whoa. a parody site? Letter Are you sure that this is well? That's just it. Is there national part of it? Part sport? of it is a parody site. I don't know how much of this article is parody. I can tell you that I've done research elsewhere, and the coins are not a parody. Can we su- Rivopolis? Can we settle if the letter writing is New Zealand's <laughs> national pastime? Because that is a thing that needs to be settled before we leave tonight. I so hope it is. That would be amazing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write a letter to New Zealand. <laughs> Dear New Zealand, I've been. <laughs> I love how all of a sudden I have an accent. I'm writing the letter to New Zealand. I, it's them, <laughs> and it's not even a New Zealand accent. Yeah, right. Like it's from it's them reading the letter as you pretending to be them reading your letter, and it's just nothing but fucking sp- <laughs> sweeping camera shops of fields and all sorts of rolling hills. You pretending to be them made me remember that <laughs> I just went. I just went to Vegas for a buddy's bachelor oh, party. Oh, okay. trouble. And we were getting drunk by the pool, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go for a swim. Rolling too deep in Vegas. And I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go talk to random people in a Scottish accent, because that's, you know, that's what you hammered, and that's what I, that's what I do. So, so I swim across the pool, there's like four people hanging out, hundreds of people there. The four people I go to, I'm, I has good, yeah, hey, no, I'm here from Scotland, where are you from? And they go, hey, we're from Scotland too, where are you from? And I was like, motherfucker, are you guys really from Scotland? And I feel like <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> and they're like... Just, they're like, oh my god, man! And like, I kept bumping into these people that were actually from Scotland. Dude, that shit always that <laughs> it, what you just it, said it never lies. never ceases like, to shit. fail. That you fucking do an accent in Vegas and somehow you end oh, up every meeting song. Or either that or running the old yeah, I'm from whatever state, and you meet people that are <laughs> well, like, well, that's what happened. <laughs> they're like, where are you from? I'm like Edinburgh. They're like, me too. What about? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding from Michael. Uh, the capital. <laughs> uh, I think it's pronounced bullshit. Yeah, uh, that's where I'm. That's where I hang out. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't. I, w- I would. I would never do that for that exact reason. Is so, I wouldn't wanna. You gotta so let like, other people talk. Are first. you going to be able? to You can't use these coins in New Zealand. You can. They're legal tender. They're fucking worth uh, the the weight in gold. They're printed. But, but if you, know, whatever. it's gotta be gold plated. Those those can't be solid. No, no. The the, the three thousand dollar one is gold. But yes, the yeah, rest of yeah, them. Yeah. I don't even think they're plated gold, frankly. But it's considered legal tender. I mean, yeah. Okay. Now, New Zealand loves well, Peter Jackson and oh, vice versa. Well, they should. If you pay twenty five dollars yeah. for it, though, and you only get to use it for ten dollars. Well, the assumption is you're not going to be using it. It's a collector's item. In twenty years, it'll be worth more than twenty five. What bucks. if you go flat broke? What if broke? they sell enough of them? That's okay. like let's the, say wait, you wait, invest that's some just solid like money. the Statue of Liberty coins that were like one dollar. Nobody's going to. It's here. technically a dollar. It's it's it's. Yeah. It's face printed at a dollar, but you wouldn't do that because it's worth ten times that. It, right on the day of minting, it's worth ten bucks, and then a couple of years down the line, it's worth you know twenty or forty or whatever the fuck. In a hundred years, who knows? But you wouldn't use it. But if you if you wanted to, yes. But I really need dollar. those sunglasses, <laughs> and I don't want to break a twenty. All I got is this Liberty coin. <laughs> All I got do is you accept dude. Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Put that and that goes on the board. Going on the board. Do you accept Frodo? Oh my goodness, that is great. <laughs> uh, okay, it's a so legitimate question. So, so Bill Murray, uh, whenever uh, apparently uh, whenever Roadhouse is on, he or one of his idiot brothers apparently will will even tell Bill Murray when it's on, and he will call up uh, Kelly Lynch's husband and uh, who is Mitch Glazer, co-writer of uh, Scrooged. Awesome, awesome flick. Good movie. That is. Um, 
And he'll call up and he'll say, oh, my God, Kelly's having sex with Patrick Swayze right now. They're doing it. He's throwing her against the rocks. (laughs) 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 And she, you know, first few times she was like, what? He just left like five minutes ago. (laughs) Or she just left or whatever. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Uh, so there you go. That was, <laughs> that's, that's his. Fucking that's his favorite fuck. little prank Bill to pull. Murray. Bill Murray is a uh, good time. Good that's time. really good. Was living life large in a. <laughs> Your wife is having sex with Patrick Swayze, right? Watch, but he's dead. It, I know it's it, sick. It, oh my it's god, sick. it's a ghost. She's a necrophiliac. That's terrible. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have time for Google feud. Mm. Um, the the psychologists are saying that you can judge ninety percent of a stranger's personal characteristics just by looking at their shoes. Only poor people wear Asics. Uh, <laughs> Mama say you could tell a lot about a person from their shoes. Uh, they 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 suggest that it goes from style, cost, color, condition, things like that. Okay. And then furthermore, just talking about somebody's shoes, you could get a lot of their personality by the way that they react to their shoes. Like, I could look at your, what are those, Adidas? Adidas. Your turquoise Adidas sneakers that are scuffed to the bottom and guess you don't live in a mansion. No. All right. So I live far, in a shed. I'm one for one. Well, hold on. I told you that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, from they shoes. Yeah, uh, no, no, absolutely. I'm going to guess you... Either do not own a suit, or you own one suit that doesn't fit you. That's incorrect. Oh, is it? That's incorrect. We've got, uh, I don't know anything suits. about this study. I'm just... We've got four suits, and really? one, of, one of them fits me. Okay. All right. All right. Either yeah. that or your powers of inference are just... Look, I, I'm you know, just... Uh, just uh, this is based on it's reading all, one paragraph time. in an it's article. It's all good. It's your first you time. Four that's, suits. That's what I'm going for. You got four suits? That's more than ten. No, I got. Yeah. I wear them for my. You know, when I play with the band. Oh, you look okay. Sharp, man. See, it's the old oh, fucking right. job requirement. Not okay. Damn. Well, I have seen photos of you with the band, and now I think about it like, yeah, that should have been a. But anyway, based on the shoes. Um, so what are we saying here? They're not nice shoes. They're they're saying a hundred percent of people with holes in their shoes are poor or grifters. Uh, researchers had asked volunteers to fill out a personality questionnaire (laughs) and to provide their most frequently worn (laughs) shoes for the experiment. The 63 observers were then asked to look at each pair and guess the gender, age, social status, and different personality (laughs) traits of the owner, like whether the owner was an extrovert or introvert, liberal or conservative, and the degree of their emotional stability, agreeableness, conscientiousness, and openness. Researchers found that the observers did well in guessing characteristics of the volunteers in almost all categories, and included that people do wear shoes that reveal their personality whether they intend to or not. I wear um, my K Swiss. I wear. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what they're called. They're just uh, they're dress shoes without laces. So I, loafers. Is that what they're called? Okay, loafers. loafer black loafers. Payless. Uh, no, a little little higher, a little higher. Um, not much, not much higher. <laughs> Marshalls. Marshalls. Oh, <laughs> yes. Those are those same are below time, Payless, aren't time. they? The both of those. Marshalls is above. Marshalls Payless. is way above Ross and Payless. Yeah, man, it's not above. Especially in L.A., you go to Marshalls in L.A. I think you you're get thinking some of Mervyn's. Shit. No, Mervyn's doesn't exist. <laughs> Mervyn's you has fucking been closed crazy for thirty years. Future person. Mervyn's went a Mervyn's past right person. across from the Beverly. East you lie. They ain't got no Mervyn's. They coming back. You ain't then. never seen no damn Mervyn's. Mervyn's is coming back. You lie. <laughs> They go shopping at no Ghost Mervins. <laughs> I don't remember where the hell I got them. I'm afraid of Payless or Marshalls. I can tell you that. Kmart. I would look at. I would. Target. I would. It's not. This is not a, an egotistical thing. I, I would buy shoes at Marshalls. You go through the fucking. I remember I went there looking for shoes and was upset that they didn't have. I'm very particular about like the comfort factor of my shoes. Yeah. I don't like laces, so I've done away with those in my life. Uh, strange, no man. more laces forever, and. Um, <laughs> They need to look. They need to go with with mostly suits because that's pretty much what I wear. Earth. Uh, so, but I need to be able to just wear them wherever. Yeah, yeah. Without, I don't want to look too fancy. You know what I mean? And they need to be comfortable as fuck. And these fit the bill, so that's why I have them. The moment they that I, I find they, they stop being so comfortable, I'll go find another pair. But it bums me out because it's cheaper to buy shoes online. But I need it. I'm like I'm a pain in the ass. I'll try on like a hundred pair of shoes in a row. It doesn't. Not me. I spent. Uh, you, got the, you got ten to ten and a half. Throw it in the box. Yeah, I'm, no, I mean, I'm I in the worst. I mean, I haven't been able to buy shoes in stores. Since, yes, we've uh, talked about very, your shoe problem. Uh, uh, what fair. got? What? What are your shoes? I never look at shoes. Tom Waits used to have a whole thing about shoes. What do you mean? Like what kind of shoes? Yeah. What are, are you, what you wearing? Let's see your shoes. The shoes that I have here are like. Uh, sorry. Looks like Converse, like brown Converse. Those are. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> American Eagle uh, shoes, I think, purchased Ooh. at a Payless. So what you're saying is those are brand new, but they're just manufactured to look like that. Uh, I mean, you know, this is my only pair of shoes. So I've been, I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been wearing them shoes. I've been walking. Is that an American Eagle thing that Which, I don't know about? Is that knows. how they do? No, I just, I just, these are my only pair of shoes, man. That's it. That's it. That's well, yeah, it just sounded like the way that you phrase it sounded like uh, what you were saying, Dale, is that, that American oh, Eagle Ameri intentionally yeah, no, well, makes Ameri them look like they're American worn Eagle when they're not. American Eagle and Abercrombie & Fitch have a tendency yeah, they, of making clothes like that, that look worn to be cool. Give it that faded you know, look, that, like, you know. Ooh, these are vintage jeans. No, all see, that type exactly. of bullshit. You know? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Here's how you. Here's nice how you get around that. A long time ago. Yeah. You, you buy they it, that nice, but you, you know, go you know, buy it for a little less. They weren't haggard. <laughs> without without paying the the extra for the worn in, you pay a little less for non worn in, and then you go to Home Depot, and you find one of the guys outside, and you say, "I need you to wear these for a week." I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I need you to wear these in a little bit, and you come back in a week. You know, like, hit them with some yeah. Febreze, and son, you are in. You just gonna give a man some shoes? I'm not giving anybody anything. I'm well, asking him to wear them in. See, those are gonna be expensive shoes. No, nah, nah. not take home so a brand new pair of shoes. No, I'm not just gonna let some random person Excuse walk me. in some shoes. I put so. trackers in my shoes. All right. So put, if I had some fucking tracker shoe money, why am I giving some dudes some trackers? Are cheap. They're like five bucks. So that's a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes. Five dollars is a lot of shoe. It's a two for one sale if you play your cards <laughs> yeah. right. That's a, I, I, buy, I, I usually buy my shoes from like my friend's closet. I usually when mean like, this, I don't wear this anymore. I usually mean I this these. figuratively. I would do something like that if I had feet that cooperated. Once again, I, I, I usually mean this they figuratively, just but in this, oh, in this I case, want a size 10. I mean this quite literally. I would not want to walk in your shoes at all. They sound terribly uncomfortable. Two pair for five bucks. There's no way. <laughs> my feet would be in hell. In fairness, I don't think I could get a deal like that unless I was buying it straight from the sweatshop. <laughs> All right, so, there you go. I don't, I don't you can go to the, uh, you can go right, to the uh, go down fashion to, district uh, downtown. Yeah, yeah, go to La Cienega. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Knock on the warehouse house three times and ask for Eddie. Eddie! <laughs> that was two knocks. Ah! It's cops. It's Get a raid. Here. It's a raid. Blow it up. Blow it up. They just blow up the whole shoe. You're saying it's a good idea <laughs> to have your own crew of pant wearer inners and shoe wearer inners. Yeah, no doubt, son. Everybody wants a crew of people that wear pants for and make them comfortable. Yeah. All right. I don't live and in you that America. You can have that for the low, low price of ignoring immigration laws. <laughs> See, that's and just, you too. I thought we already were doing that to right. a degree. You too can get in. Yeah, well, on the sweatshop dream. I I got to say, like, as a part of me, like, whenever I go to Home Depot, because I'm I try to be like DIY and do everything myself oh, as yeah. far as like all my home we, stuff. We do everything at our house ourselves. Right. Everything. And I, but I, part of me feels bad. I could go to Home Depot, and these guys are like, I could fucking whoop some ass on that. And I'm like, yeah. But you know what? It's it's a thing of like, I couldn't, as a whatever, as as an able bodied male, I couldn't just stand to the side and watch somebody else do what I'm very capable of doing myself. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's the same reason I can't. Thing, you know. Like I feel weird hiring movers. Same thing. I was like, you could. That is something. I'm I've not moving again until I can afford a mover. I'm not fucking for I've, myself. I've, like I'll help friends move occasionally, but for myself. I've moved so many I'm gonna times. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to hire I've, somebody I've, to do I've that hired that movers sucks. twice, and both times I've been like, I, I had to like help a lot. Like, I felt like a piece of shit the whole time. But both times no, I dude, had a roommate like, that was like, had a broken arm or something, and I was like, you can't go. And so I just like act like, oh, I, and I broke my arm. We were playing an arm wrestling. We both broke our arm. Yeah, that's the only way I could do it. It feels weird to just watch people. Just watch them. He's like, yes, but that's yes. What, but dude, that's what that they're being. Over there. Or, I, do they hate you at the time because you're just standing you know, there? And I feel like yeah. that's one Give of those. Give them fucking cookies I, and a beer yeah, look, and they I don't get care. It. You're, that is one of those I things I feel like that is very separating uh, between people who are sort of birthed into the air of privilege versus us common peasant serfs, you know, where it's like. Carbon peasant serfs. You know, like it's, it's that sense of like, it is really uncomfortable to watch someone like clean or serve. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's incredibly. It's, inc it's like to be in close quarters, especially, to, and you're just like, especially if you're like overseeing them, you're like, ah, fuck, man, uh, why are you asking me about what the walls should be like? I don't know, fucking. Would I you like your breakfast now? Right, you're like this shit is uh, very uncomfortable. Oh, I could totally I don't know. do it if they were are British. Are you hungry? Oh, and in, in a heartbeat, if they were British, <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Gonna hire, but okay, listen, I need a bunch of Guatemalans who sound like they're from Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a Scottish, I'd feel a little bad because I'd be like, oh, so I really want to watch Braveheart today, but I can't put on. <laughs> <laughs> Not while Senior Jeeves is here, I can't do it. Okay, listen, that change shit. of plans. I need some Panamanians who sound like they're from Mike Ireland. Tyson does not have that kind of money anymore, Teddy. That's the wrong accent for the joke. Panamanian. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I need I'm, some Panamanians from. If uh, they mess up on a clean and I eat their children yeah. alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't understand. My defense, <laughs> my defense is impregnable. <laughs> it's impregnable. I need some Colombians who sound like they're from France. My favorite Mike Tyson quote of all time uh, has always been and will always be everybody got a plan until they get punched <laughs> in the face. <laughs> It's a good quote. I mean, come on. Good line. It's a very, line. it's a very true. It's apt. Listen, statement. I don't think, especially coming from Mike Tyson, uh, uh, I don't know if there's a phrase that can very sort of sum up so much. Yeah. Of, of the man's psyche of yeah. late twentieth century, early twenty first century culture, yeah, and not so just funny. not just his psyche, but a reflection of what he represents in the culture. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, and him to be at the everybody highest. got a plan till they get smacked in the head. I mean, him to be in the highest, just moving money, like just printing it, son. Just and yeah. then to come down, and now he's doing Broadway shows, and you know what I mean. It's the most. It's the realest shit I ever wrote. You know what I'm saying? That Every, guy. That guy has been to the top like two or three times. Right. Like, I mean, and and Mike Tyson was at the top in like the '80s heyday when the top was oh, yeah. really just like. Lord of the Flies, unfettered. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just, like, just wake up in a pile of cocaine. <laughs> Debauchery. You know, like, in a pile of cocaine with silk boxers. You don't even yeah. know how you got there, face down in it. And the guy knocking at your door he... is the president of three countries. Right? Yeah. And you just... And he doesn't even care that you're in the coke. You just sleep like, in I coke. just wanted to say hello. Every time you breathe in, you're just breathing in coke. You're literally snoring in... Do you think, in... you think Tyson was big in coke? At some point, he probably was. I'm pretty sure at some point he was doing cocaine. I think so. It was the 80s, man. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure every yeah. 80s celebrity at some point was doing cocaine. I don't, I don't think you've I got to say, there is nothing more frightening than that I could imagine than being in a room in the 80s with a coked up Mike Tyson. Oh, my God. I'm, Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, a yeah. you know, little bit of that's, yourself just kind of. I am a modern day Robespierre. Uh, and, that would be and, one of the most terrifying things. And, and God save your soul if you looked a little bit feminine in that room. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, just, you're done. I mean, I think the thing about how Mike Tyson. Long, how long was he in prison? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking a coked up Mike Tyson in the 80s is, is whew, whew. And I'm, I'm thinking now about. I don't know why Spinks I'm did, thinking, uh, agreed in that yeah, fight. I, <laughs> I'm thinking about press conferences, you know, 12 towards the end of Mike Tyson's towards his run when things were you really, mean his reign of terror yeah, yeah. if you will uh, <laughs> but back when he had the the press conferences when he was yelling at reporters being like come here and say that shit to my faith like a man I, i'll make you fuck you till you love me Do you, you know yeah, yeah, yeah i remember yeah. those that. press conferences where you're some like, wild shit where you're like my god what are you like what is happening in your life right now like, like you, it's that thing where you go, I think he misspoke, but he probably didn't. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, right. That's probably like, exactly. Well, he did, but he didn't like if you showed him the quote later, realize. and you were like, you were like, like you, yeah, you realize well, this man. is what you said, and he's like, yeah, that sounds about right. And he's like, like, I want to eat, I want to stomp on your children's liver so you could feel the pain that I feel every day. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he was saying in that. And you're just like, my God, you man, are what? ridiculous. But you're also just at the flip side. You're like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. What He's have probably not being hyperbolic. Well, right yeah. now. <laughs> he, if you gave him the chance, he would stomp on your children's liver. What have God probably. brought? Probably. God hath wrought Mike Tyson. Yeah, get your riches. Did but you just ever know see uh, exercise? Exercise for the listener after the show. If you ever, if you ever get a chance, Google around. Because um, his house is still standing, but there's no like security on it, and there's almost nothing in it. Oh yeah, but like you can just walk right in. Wait, which and one? There the was one in Connecticut? The big, yeah, the big, the big mansion fucking thing that he had to like give up. I saw some photos of people who just like they kind of broke in or whatever or walked in. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a good thing to do. And it was like felony break in photo session. Yeah, well, well, I mean, it's like I've left so many it's an ab- traps. It's I've an forgotten a- about them. It's an abandoned <laughs> house. You know what I mean? It's an abandoned house. Yeah, and it's mess. just interesting to see, like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, what the, what the money built kind of thing. And again, there's nothing really in there, but I'm sure if you chipped away at the walls, you could get some like quality coke or Dude, or like some gold flakes so or something shit. but it was interesting to see that and you're like this is where he kept his tigers you know <laughs> like what so yeah uh, crazy it's guy. like yeah crazy i don't guy. trust He's a man boxer. that keeps tigers no so yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't trust a guy that keeps cats and I, I definitely, hey like, listen again you i don't know <laughs> I don't if i trust be, you bitch i could not be in no <laughs> I, I could not be in a bad enough place in life in that point in the 80s when someone was like all right listen 
You've been training to be a pugilist your entire existence. <laughs> Mike Tyson keeps tigers in his house that he goes around and he pets when he's casually bored. <laughs> You're up next on Doc. <laughs> this is a $1 million payday for you, kid. No, you may not survive till the second round. Do you want in? What's that? No? You're going to college again? Okay. I still gotta, I still gotta <laughs> say, like, there, there's... there's I, I remember I had a swim meet the night that he fought Spink, so I missed the fight, but we all assumed it was going to go on for what, I don't know, naively assumed it was going to go on for longer than 93 seconds. Fools. Yeah, well, whatever. And I remember uh, uh, my dad came to pick me up, and, uh, and I was like, so, so what happened? He's like, I, I can't tell you. And I was like, that bad? And he goes, ah, you'll love it. And I was like, is it, is it really, it's like over? It's, it's only been, I'm like, you know, half hour? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's over. And I was like, this I got to see. And I remember... You know, it was like, you know, he, he put the tape on, and I remember he hit rewind, it was like, and I was like, I think it's broken. Like, there's no way the whole fight just <laughs> rewound. And he's like, no, 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 watch. And I remember watching, and it's like one of those things that, that, like, you feel it, you watch it. If you Again, if nobody, at people at home, even if you don't care about sports, the sight to see when Tyson's just, like, height of his everything and Spinks is like, okay, gonna gonna do a fight, you know. <laughs> and this little fucking tank, man, this little tank just walks up and crack, and he's just down. And then he comes back up, and he's like, I got this. Um, okay, he just lucky shot. That's all. And he's, <laughs> and it was just, you could see his head just snap around. And he probably was down there going like, I could get back up, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm I gonna get up. So. I don't I'm want, obviously. I don't prepared. want more of that. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. I've had two of those, <laughs> and I'm I'm good. That's that's all I needed. I really. It's so bad when you see boxers like after like you like know about all these you know traumatic brain injuries oh, yeah. and CTE now with all the football players and stuff. We were watching that boxing match with Alex Mandelberg uh, and his girlfriend and uh, Sydney, and and so they were boxing each other. No, oh, I wish that would be great. Uh, he was showing me his 3D TV. Oh, uh, oh, that's so, gotta be trippy to watch. They, in 3D. They're both like they're both telling. Oh my god, it was insane. <laughs> so like they're both nuts. telling me about um, about just 3D TV in general, and they happen to be a boxing match on the the ESPN 3D channel, and we just were watching. One I later realized was legalized and sanctioned televised murder, and it was this Colombian boxer just brutalizing. By this the way, guy. Here, real quick, this is the this is the exact moment I was talking about, and crack. Oh man, crack. Oh, stay he's outside. like he's like about to hit him again. He's like, no, no, I got this. Okay, it's just one good shot to the face. I got this. I got this. I'll he even, doesn't even I see a body shot that put him on. to the canvas, and that is the first time. I don't know why he decided it was a good idea to get back up again. And then there you go. That's it. That's it. You're done. That's it. He went down so fast. So you fast. You see him just going like, they're like, where are you? He's like, I don't know. Just, I want my blanket. Like, he can't even move, dude. Guy's done. Falls out of the ring. Falls out of the ring. Oh, my God. With one God. punch someone right go, here. Watch. Someone go watch me. one punch. Boom. Smack. Boom. Never done. been down in a professional fight. Yeah, you don't remember they were they was they were both Never undefeated. They were undefeated, both of them. That was the big thing. And I remember looking and going, "How is he gonna bite beat Tyson? He weighs like five pounds." Oh, oh, man. Right hand, right. It's just it's so a, vicious. It is so vicious. He really like, he went in five seconds from I got it boom, all. Boom. Poor choice. It's just like that. You know he's kind of upset too. He's like, he's like damn, damn. Because if you look at him, he's going, that was my jab. If you watch his face, he's like, smack, boom. Oh, Here, here's damn the it. thing. Like, he was not a bad <laughs> boxer. Right? But Tyson, like, it speaks to how Force of unbelievable Tank. Tyson Force was. Of because nature. it's not like this guy's fucking Walter from the block. Like, well, I could take him. You know, like, this is a fucking undefeated professional. Which is what I'm saying. Like, you, and you're like, and that's why I'm like, when I'm watching this boxing match with Mandelberg, and like, there was something unsettling to me the entire entire time because at this point this dude is like murdering this guy in the ring yeah. and there's like the referee should have stopped it a long time ago and the fucking the the colombian is just like hands dropped down by his knees like toying with this man it's leaving like, his face man. open <laughs> like daring him What's up? it's like i've beaten you so badly there's no the way, way you can take quick, a shot at you me you want to you want to see it in slow motion oh this is vicious more than anything oh whoops i just missed it uh it's so hard to get it right on the exact second that it happens oh man so he misses the first shot it looks like actually See? And then dunk. Oh, that's a so second one. one shot, and that's it. 
Tough. Done. His he literally goes back and his head bounces. That guy off literally video took game a style. right fucking uppercut straight to the jaw. Dude, that referee was not prepared. Sean, it was not. Prepared. Bam. He's done. like, oh, okay. That All ref right. is just going. I well, my job here is done. I okay. uh, there's I, nothing. He's thinking easy payday. I need to step in. So uh, watching it in 3D, uh, watching a boxing match. Missed. It's uh, amazing. People uh, who are standing a ringside look like they're all. It's like almost a video game on Hyperlife. It's strange, you know. But when you like you're witnessing the shots and the replays of someone's head and the you're, the carnage. <laughs> it's right. And there. that's when I finally read like what once they showed the Colombian flag, I was like, that man is sponsored by the <laughs> drug cartels. I watched a drug cartel murderer. Yeah. Uh, do his damage in the He's ring. He's trying to make good. Right? And like that is when you're like, fuck, that's who's still boxing right now? Yikes. Yeah. This is really tough. But then they showed a uh, Hot Wheels track we were, from... We were uh, like running out of time. X so Games. I hope this that was, was uh, sweet. I'm sorry, I had to cut you. No, that was it. Like, that was it. Okay, that I'm sorry. Right there. It sounded the like loop. you're like... 3D then. Hot Wheels. 3D Hot Wheels on the 3D the channel. The big loop thing? Yeah, that was nice. fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Dale? Uh, Dale, what do you want to plug? Where can people find you? Uh, I found that your website out... hasn't been updated in four years, so I'm a little upset about website? that. I don't know. When I Google your name, some yeah. blog or other comes up. I have, a, I have a blog? Okay, well, there you go. No. I uh, get Soul your breaking internet. news. Soulscratchband.com. Soulscratchband.com. Yeah. Captain Black Hammer says dot tumblr.com. That... Is that not you? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> it says <laughs> Dave Sparlet Comedy at the top. Dave? Well, who the fuck's Dave? Or Dale. Dale. Sorry. Why did uh, I say Dave? No, I, I canceled that shit a long time ago. They Apparently you didn't. Oh, well, there we go. All there right. you go. February 12th. Uh, what was that? I don't know oh, when. Nine. I fuck, come on. Uh, a wealth of wisdom the aura. and advice <laughs> from a man who has very little of either. I like it's good. That. It's good. It's a good well, tagline. I like it. It's an I just moved to LA tagline. Yeah. I like now it. would be like, so, bitch, get out of my way. Soul band. Smooth soul, motherfucker. Soul what? <laughs> Soulscratchband.com. Okay. And you're on the Twitters or the Facebooks and all the... I am. I'm at Dale Spollett. S-P-O-L-L-E-T-T. S-P-O-L-L-E-T-T. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you want to plug there, Tedrick? Uh, man, um, you can check out uh, my Twitter account, uh, The Romney Book. Uh, for all the fun facts about Mitt Romney being a terrible human being, uh, mm -hmm. as supplied, or yeah. you can just uh, open a window for like three minutes and find out that he's a terrible human. Well, you could do that too. You could yeah. do that too. Uh, Read anything about the man. Yep, it's uh, John McCain's 2008 opposition research file on him, all 200 pages. So there's that. I love it, Mitch. What you got? You're not gonna get any performances. Teddy I, and I are gonna try to oh. like take over some. I some might, shows I here might be this performing weekend. this weekend, so I don't know. You can try me on Twitter. Dale, I've you got, got a, a I've got twenty fifth at uh, Santa Monica at O'Brien's, and okay. the twenty seventh at the White Hart in Woodland Hills, and November second at Skinny's in North Hollywood. These are all for the band, or this is all for the band. Okay, all nice for the, for the jam. But it's worth it. I brought you guys CDs, so you can tell people it's worth it. It's no yeah. point. Nice. Nice. I like it. Merch. I like swag, yeah, man. Mitch. Uh, let's see. I just got invited to a show while we were recording. That yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, Faith Choice had invited Very a while back, and then she said, "Well, don't announce it until I book you for it. I'll put it on." It looks like November tenth, the Sexy Dork Show. Hey. I'm not sure that I'm either, you, you but I'll that? take it. You're, uh, you're, uh, you're <laughs> certainly know. a dork. Uh, well, thanks. So <laughs> really hoping more for the sexy. <laughs> Someone I would have gone with, yeah, too. Yeah, okay, thanks, Dale. It's all right. It's cool. Uh, I know Teddy would kill me in a heartbeat, even in the middle of a zombie, zombie apocalypse. Yeah, even this is when I, I do look, this sexy. But he also said that he had assumed that he'd already had the heart-to-heart -heart with you. Yeah. Okay, well. so he's not totally cold. He's just... Yeah. Mostly mm -hmm. cold. Bitch, Methodical. You know, I would have already talked this through with you, baby. I would have opened myself up. <laughs> I said, look, I'm open to you. <laughs> you know I'm going to kill you, right? Good night, bitch. <laughs> Peace out, my Thanks boy. for listening to Straight Riffin. You can catch all past and future episodes of Straight Riffin on the official website, riffin.net. R-I-F-F-I-N.net. Keep in mind, we do air live every Monday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time. That's 10 p.m. to midnight for you East Coasters. You can actually watch that right